Hello, hi, apologies for the absolutely horrendous audio you're about to hear for the next three hours. Um, I just updated my PC and in doing an update I maybe have clicked a few things, set a few things a little higher than I should have because you don't tend to mess with these things. So yeah, apologies. Enough to you fuck off with your unspecified error right now, you arsehole. <laughs> oh, dear goodness gracious me. What did we do when last we four met? When next shall we three meet? Well, God knows, but probably on a Monday or a Tuesday. Until then, uh, what happened? What happened? Well, he's went a little walk. Um, turns out one thing you guys are really bad at doing is taking just walks to the point where in your little walk you've seen a nice little place. Lots of old looking things. Um, I'm really good with my words as you can tell. But <laughs> what happened then was you heard the beating and flapping of wings followed by the soiling of armour and trousers. That then led to a large crack, a bang, a boom, slap, the sound of your heart and the floor caving in. You then found yourself in this very odd temple. This underground dungeon type thing where the first thing you encountered was a door to which everybody went, yeah, that's clearly fucking locked. And surprise, surprise, it was clearly fucking locked. <laughs> so, you just made your way down through the locked door after spending a few minutes looking at all the little intricate little uh, carvings and then immediately set off a secondary trap where logs started getting firing at you. And so, yeah. logs, like big ass logs, because dungeon. <laughs> why not? Because why not? <laughs> you then uh, decided, felt you were safe, you opened the door, and as you opened the door, you saw a giant crayfish who stood in the centre of a room, giving it all this with the claws and making all these noises. Uh, everybody just took a wide berth and <laughs> went down down some, you know, down a, down, open through a door. You know, crayfish didn't bother you, you didn't bother it. You know, went down in a very muddy room. You saw some green stuff above a door, and everyone's like, "Hmm, that there, that there is slime. That's that's bad. That's deadly. That's going to drop on us." It dropped on no one. They then went into a little corridor where they saw what looked like blood and such. They trepidatiously walked across. They seen a big statue with some gems for eyes and a sword. Um, they proceeded to try and climb up on it. It fell and broke. They got two gemstones and a sword out of it, though. Um, found a little secret tunnel. Didn't give care much for it. Proceeded to go through another door where they found a... I need to give this thing one hit point to show you the image. Really? Really, guy? See, this weird thing, speaking in an odd language, it didn't last very long. From there, they walked across the very, very wet and weird, muddy room, up a little corridor, and into the corridor they found a door. They struggled to open this door as well. However, this one was for good reason, as when they opened it, 20 foot by 20 foot by 20 foot, or as it's also known, 20 foot cubed of pure water opened up on them and everyone bar the caster took a nice little watery trip back to where they came from after which is surprising because she's the, she's the weakest one after taking a brief respite they walked up a corridor into another room where they saw a woman doing things, doing women things. I don't know, I don't pretend to know what women do, I play D&D. So, Exodus, being Exodus, being the Rizmaster 3000, realised very quickly that she had other plans. As everyone was saying, don't go there, don't go there, he was like, I'm going there, I'm going there. <laughs> she then proceeded to grab him, and pull them underwater. And that's where 
we left off. Exodus under a wateru. Everyone yeah. a little bit concerned. I'm now going to say for the first time tonight, and it's been a while since I've said this, roll initiative. Hey oh, hey oh. Starting off. Yay. Starting off strong. Roll an initiative for uh, the fact that someone can technically be classed as drowning. I wonder who. <laughs> is it? Is it me? Is it? I, where's my token at? <laughs> Sorry, I've already got you in. So if you just click the little uh, X. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You are here, however. If you want to click your sheet real quick and get it open for your saves. Oh, I clicked it. And he goes. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Clifton. Dealer's choice. Who's playing Clifton? I'll play Clifton again. Clifton Tremine. The most devious bastard in New York City. You have access to the sheet already, so on you go. Jalen, we need both of your characters to roll in initiative, man. Wait, um... I'm on Jalen. Slower than a week in jail you are. I say that with love. Exodus. Now, funniest thing about this, mate. By all yeah. accounts, you are grappled. <laughs> I'm just trying to see... Where the strength check? Oh, you were willing. Sorry. So, you know, you are grappled. You are top of initiative as you are pulled down into these cold, murky depths. You see the nerd as she smiles and laughs. You see this odd, long, big shape seem to start coming towards you. What do? What do? I have a few questions for you. Uh, sure. One. The amulet I have of Shinene. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Takes an action to use. I think I need to say the command word, but. It's just touch. It's just touch? It's because I don't need to touch the cast. Of sp because I don't need to speak to cast the cast spell. Do I not have those components? There's no vocal component to any of the necklaces. It's just a case of touching and essentially using your action to pray. <laughs> but internal, you know, God is always listening. God is always watching. No more than two shakes. All right, good shit, good shit. Well, I'm in a, a bit of a pickle right now, so I will touch the amulet and I'll, I'll pray. Hey, Mick. It's my phone, Mick. Shinaries, let's go, Shinaries. And ra, you're gonna and oh, sorry. Get fast and feel fast in the war. Was this words that I have never thought I'd ever say in my life? <laughs> <coughs> and then, let me look up the effects of haste. I should definitely, have, but I just want to know. It's right uh, there in chat. Plus two at your AC, advantage of dexterity saving throws, additional action each turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, use the uh, other action to get out of a grapple, or is that not? Is it going to be attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use object dash? I don't think so. Only to take the attack, one weapon attack only. So breaking a, a breaking a grapple is technically its own separate thing. Then I right. want to wreck shit. Oh, yeah. Um. Meg! Uh, what did you say you're doing, sorry? I'm uh, attack. I forget. I, I, I know, I'm sorry. I forget I do this every time. Can I booming blade with my hasted uh, action? Like... Uh, booming blade. I always forget. It's an action. Somatic and material. There's no vocal. Um. So, 
Isn't you somatic technically... vocal? Never mind. No, somatic's hand shit. Somatic's throwing gang signs. Oh. Okay. Uh, technically, casting a spell is classed as a casting spell attack action. I don't want to feed her if you fed her. How I have not her? fed her. That's fine. Alright, then I will Booming Blade. I don't have a token to select uh, to attack. Can I just roll into you the don't, ether? You don't, you don't need to have a token. Don't worry. That's only for automation right. or if you're doing a range attack. Alright. A 24 10 hits. And then Booming Blade. Pardon me. I'll just yep. do that. That's an additional. Two and then sneak attack. Yeah. Why sneak attack? I'm a swashbuckler. I'm a dirty fucking swashbuckler right now. Oh, okay, so you can. Does it need? Louis. Does it need anyone next to him? Yeah, it just it just means I have to be soloing essentially. And um, they'll. <laughs> I can't move, right? Yeah, no, that would be my turn. Hell, don't worry. Uh, let's roll it over to Fane. Fane, passively, you can see her. Her passive perce your passive perception equates to her passive stealth. That was Exodus. Yes, that was Exodus. Oh, Exodus is first in the. Yep. Okay. I can... He's he's not there. That's why I because his token's you. invisible. It doesn't show him in there either, which is just really weird. Ah, okay. Uh, your target is right here, about, say, 10 foot underwater. I can fight in water? You can fight underwater, you just get half movement speed. It also requires going okay. underwater. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, ain't no better time like today. I'm gonna go ahead and get under there. Alright, so you can dive in and down you're going to her depth yeah right and i want to say that's all your movement but you've got 55 because you're a monk so that's 30 foot of movement total gotcha you are standing and, um, right next to her okay we're going to one control my actor uh oh okay <laughs> One. Sixteen hits. Two. Fifteen hits. What's and the damage? You're, huh? Type. Damage type. Fire, of course. Fire. Kill. Then we're going to. Flurry of Blows. Uh -huh. I believe that's two more. Uh huh. Both hit. All right. Uh, that will be the end of my turn there. Just checking something. Hmm. Just checking something. Mm hmm. Go. Sure. Why are you open your touch on my hair? Ah. And the funnily weirdest thing ever. Um yeah. Those all hit connect and do fire damage. <laughs> Underwater. Hot hand. Hot hand. So ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen total burny burnies. I like to I like to think about it as Searing rather than you catching on fire. <laughs> She's just a fucking steak in your tender right? <laughs> yeah. Did it else your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Then. Mm, starting to smell like smoked fish in here. <laughs> <laughs> nice little bit of haddock, as they say. Well, this very odd creature. Which, as I take a look, Exodus. Yes. You have a hard time seeing it, but you're underwater, so you get the vaguest notion of it. 
Finn, you see this thing coming a mile off. Melanor, you can see it from up high. Bernard scratching your head, wondering what everyone's looking at. For everyone else. This thing. Comes no! Swimming through. Oh, it's kind of cute. As it does. It wheel. What's this? I've got to make sure it's not all that. Okay, alright, yeah. It's about kind of moves on under. Yeah, it's swim speed of 30. Let's change that speed to swim at some point because it's currently on its land speed. Yes, this thing has a land speed. Think about that. It mm. Does Exodus? No, pain. You're gonna feel it just running by, skimming over your feet. And as it does, I need a Constitution saving throw. Yes, sir. It does. You start to feel. This building around and building around before. Zzzz. And you are struck by lightning damage. Mm. You are also stunned until the eel's next turn. Okay. Melano, you can. You can see the eel? But to see the netted, it would be a perception check required as her passive is higher than your passive. I was thinking of shaping water to make it clear. Right where she is so that we can see her. Shape water like that shit? You change the water's color or opacity. Yeah. In that case, then do, 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 do. you'll see. Yeah. Him. And then I'll do a spell and do um and since I have a I think I have a lunar boon. I guess at that point there you can now also see Exodus. Uh, yeah, that certain spell or something, um... Yeah, I can only spend one. The... Um... I'll be honest, I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you've used it, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's level 7 or 6. It's level it's 6. good thing I still brought out the book. <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh, so, Lunar... Uh, this is your level 6. Waxing and waning lunar boons. Current phases of the lunar can emit a magic creature. Each lunar embodiment phase is associated with certain skills of magic. Whenever you use meta magic on a spell of a school associated with your current lunar embodiment phase, you can reduce the sorcery points spent by 1. So... In terms of this... I'm, I'm seeing um, which spells I have. Protection I'm, from good and evil. I think I'm full moon because I have shield, lesser restoration, and dispel magic. Uh, shield, lesser restoration, spell magic. Yeah, I'd go with that. Do you have death ward? Out of curiosity. Um, not yet. You should have. That's a level seven spell. Seventh uh, level sorcerer spell. Oh, I don't have that for it. Yeah. You didn't add it. I'll get that added for you after this, but you should have death ward there. So yeah. So that's abjuration and divinations, right? Uh, now she asks, full moon abjuration and divination. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually do this. So it drops your sorcery point requirement. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you this as an image on Snapchat as well, just so you remember. Just so I remember. <laughs> No, oh, please. See if I even have any damaging spells. Don't focus. I don't have any damaging spells. She's a she's a sorcerer, work. guys. Remember that. No damaging spells, <laughs> sorcerer. 
I mean, abjuration and divination spells that are damaging, no? Have any of those? Uh, abjuration, divination, I don't even know the divination, divination, abjuration, abjuration. So I'm gonna do fire on the both of these. Both of them. <laughs> and in the end, she cast the cantrip. <laughs> uh, netted saves ill fails. You'll take seven radiant damage. Then anything else you'll turn? Um, I guess I'll move to the corner here. It's 35 foot. Oh, for Wrong character. No, that was your turn? No. Bernard, now clean his day. The beautifully white woman and her big eel. Usually have to go to Thailand for that, but you know. Mm, eh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brady. Well, I'm not going to. I can see them now. Yep, you can see them. Clear as. And clear as day, I suppose is the word. All right. Where's the water? All the blood is... Oh, uh, let me... Whoop, right here, oh, there. So I can go 5, 10, 15, 20 up to the edge, and I can go 30, and water's half movement? Yeah, water's difficult to rain, so... And here, you'd, I'd say here, you'd be about waist high, so... You know, at that point there, you'd be using all your movement just to get down to her level. All right, well, then I'll do that. Up there... Take my sword with the flame damage as you love to do underwater. Just confuses me sometimes, this game. <laughs> Target her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you can see her now. Yeah, thank you. I can see. A 16 for 13. I'm gonna bring that down. She burns. So I removed thirteen. Like she, she, she did not have that much health left. There we go. Eight mm. for eleven. Ow! Wrong side of the pencil. <laughs> uh, eight for eleven would miss uh, the eel with it in range. But I'll, you know, if there's, yeah, I'd, I'd say if there's anything else you want to do. Huh? Uh, oh, Exodus is free now. Yep. Pain is bloodied. I don't think I've got a bonus action to help him with that. I'd like to point out the map here. I have mm, the thinnest of grids on because the guy who made the map actually put the grid on it. I don't have a bonus action to help, so that's it. Briefly, at the end of the day, it's it's only fine. <laughs> he's he's come back before. Yeah. Working on death number two. Didn't know it'd be so soon. <laughs> Jalen, you're aware that you're Clifton, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so no, I don't I'm think you were. Okay. The Rangers, there you go. So let's see. Bloodlet, I touch no magic weapon until the spell ends. Creature hit by the weapon must succeed on a constitution saving throw or receive a festering wind. It does 2d. So you're going to let that bitch off and fire. Uh, con save fails. So that is 19 damage. Big damage numbers really make a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> you do it now, so you turn them, my guy. No, that's it for right now. Alright. 
Exodus, your uh, potential wife to be has died. In her place, a giant eel. Big sad wife dead. <laughs> uh, I'll swim on over to the eel. Mm -hmm. I'll give it the good old booming, booming blade, the wacka. Yep. I forget if I get sneak attack if I have an ally within five feet. I think that's how that works. <sighs> Also, yes. I think that's plain sneak attack, yeah. Yep, alright. Alright, let's see it. Big numbers, big numbers. Miss. Damn. So I spent 5 feet to get over here, but it's actually 10 feet. And then I'll bonus action dash to get another 30 feet, which would be 50 feet divided by... 25. Ooh, yeah, uh, 25 feet. And I can get... About five feet away, and then there's ten foot up, so I'd be thirty feet. So I think I'd be at the surface. I think I can get just on the lip here, if that's good. Yeah, no, uh, you'd be able to get there without any issues. Kind of back up and out, and as you were, uh, you would obviously take a little, uh, little nibble to any one hit. My good sir, it's been too long. I'm a swashbuckler. Oh yeah, you're right. It's been it's too long. long. It's been too long. Used <laughs> <laughs> to everyone else moving away from everything else in other games. It has been too long. <laughs> Did I not your turn? Yeah, no, no, that, that's it. Not very big. I just lost a 21 Fane. Make it worth my while. <laughs> uh, Fane is stunned until the end of the eel's next turn. You're right. Fane is. Fane, I'm hungry. In fact, one could argue famished. Can't move, can't speak. Automatically feel strength and dex. Attacks have advantage. Ouch. Ouchies. 21 and 12. So 21 for 14. As much as it kind of comes in and you immediately he's going to watch his Fane's body just floats to the top and bobs there. Hold up. I'm gonna double check real quick. Um, oh, there's no secondary save. Um, yeah. I suppose at that point there you will move up and become like a water serpent like you know that awful overlockness monster that is probably just a tire or something is it well the head snippet a snap it and whip it a whap it in uh, blah, 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 blah. well John even a rod oh, it was a four it was even I do apologize that's a nine, that misses. <laughs> Is it gonna... No, no. I will... <clears throat> Do... She's mind whip on... At second level. I'm just gonna say fuck it up, can it? <laughs> oh yeah, at second level. I mean, that's the second, le the second oh. level spell. <laughs> the eel. Not very smart. Eels. That was only an eight, come on, fuck. Um, on its ne next, it can't take a reaction until the next end of its next turn, and on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an attack, or a bonus action. You can only get one of the three. So, oh, I forgot to uh, second do this on you my can turn. Get, you can get Fane away from me. Fane, who is unconscious. Do anything else with your turn? Um, no, I can't do much. I can't do anything else. Bernard. Alright. I grab Fane by the scruff of his neck. No too familiar say. Pitch him up on <laughs> onto the onto the 
rocks onto the floor out of the water and holler at Clifton to, to help him. I, I, that's my action. And bonus action. Yep, that's it. Okay. Clifton is where our drags the body out of the water. Fane's body. All that work. All that work you did. And he's already down. This would hit harder and funnier if RJ were here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I'll do Aura of Vitality. Oh, baby! Beautiful spell. Uh, I think you're concentrate. Uh, actually, no, you're not. No, that is a concentration spell. I don't know why it's not put it on there. So you will lose concentration on... Oh, That's shit! Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Sorry, right. Holding on. Um, roll 2d6 real quick. Okay. One sec. I gotta pop that off. The template won't go out. Actually, I can escape. Yep, you can escape, nope. escape. Because uh, Blood Lair uh, takes damage at the end of its turns. It's a festering wound. I can't get rid of the uh, the template. Uh, someone roll him as 2d6. Okay. Uh, Still up. Um. You can now pop your template, or you can go in for the attack, your choice. Aura Vitality. Uh, I don't know why Aura Vitality is doing that. It's, it's, it's centered around you, so click anywhere. Because, you know... It's just 30 it, feet around you. I clicked Escape, and it chose to reload the application instead. Ah. <laughs> you still do any... Um, aura Vitality, or are you doing something else? Yeah, I'm doing Aura of Vitality. Aura of Vitality. Incoming, you have... Are you... You have no third or fourth level spells, Blots. It's because I just used it. It doesn't use it until it pops off. Mm -mm, I used it. I had a I had a slot. I clicked go ahead and use it, and then it takes it away. It put on the um, template for me. You're right, it does. Didn't... Sorry, that's on me. You're right, that's on me. I don't apologize. Yeah. That's a 30 foot high, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. 30 foot template. Um, 30 foot radius. Fuck me, that's a 60 foot diameter. Because I am good at math. And that's 15 healing. <laughs> uh, 15 healing, 15 healing for Finn. Mm -hmm. It's 15 healing for Jalen. Do anything else for your turn? Nope, that's it. Exodus. No, don't keep me in suspense, please. Well, he is tinkling like a princess, so dodge. Pain. Okay. He's going to go right. Can I hit him right there? Yep, he is still in. You know, it's, it's still up, giving it the old, you know, a razzle dazzle. A 19 for 3, you'll do it. As you can just go, boom, ring its bell. As your bell was rung prior. You watch it. And drops into the water. Gone. Now, here's where shit gets real fun. There's still nine hops of aura of vitality. Right. Ew. Let me find out what his um his little extra thing is. That did you get it? Plus five. Um, there's cleric. What we thinking? I I know what you're on about. I'm just trying to. Human trail casting. Disciple of life. Um. 
Your healing spells are more effective. Whenever you use a spell first level or higher to restore hit points, the creature regains additional hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. So, Aura of Vitality is the third level. It's an additional 5. Yeah, I just looked at the what it added on to the original spell. So you said nine things of healing? So so it's already on there. That's that's a beautiful bit. 2d6 plus 5 makes 10. So we've got nine bouts. So here's what we'll do. Um, 2d6 plus 5. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the Ronin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, who so, needs healing? So there was a All fifth, right. 15. Don't anybody take anything yet, because I'm writing, so we can be the very generous person that I am. <laughs> 10. In a sec, yeah, I'm just writing down numbers. Because people will never believe me otherwise. 10, 14, and a 9. So. Uh, give me a little sec. Give me those up between yourselves as needed. Oh, me is Fane. Here's my question. Like Fane Ooh. and Exodus need it most. My big boy <laughs> question is, did every healing get the extra healing? Yes! Yeah. Ayo. When in the fuck can 2d6 with a maximum of 12 make 15? <laughs> uh, Mad Max. So I'm missing a total of like fifty. Uh, fifty. Uh, not fifty. Forty. No, not forty. Thirty-eight. What's Fane missing? You're missing 38, Exodus? I think that's my math. 28 out of 66. Yeah, 38, right. Yeah. 35 is what I'm missing. So we got a 12, a 10, and a 13. That's 35. If, if you take the first three, yeah, that's exactly what you need. There's a the 12, first three. a 16, and a 10 is 38. That leaves a 14, a 9, and a 13. So the first three is what I'll need. Twelve and thirteen. Yeah. You who's missing thirty-eight? <laughs> Pain. Yeah, I'm missing. Let me see. Minus. Yeah, I'm missing thirty-five. Do you know half Pain? my dinner goes missing in a recording because I have vegetables? Yeah, I'm missing thirty-five. Oh, so the 12, the 13, and the 10 will fill Fane up. So yeah, we'll 16, a 14, and a 9. Alright, let me check. Um, so. I'm missing 11. You're saying the 12, 15, and... 12, 13, and 10 for Fane. That should be a hit. Yep, that's me. Plus the 15 went to him as well when that initial pop, so... Yep. That leaves us 12, 16, 13, 10, 14, and 9. Exodus used the 12, the 10, and the 13. Since when? There's two 12s, two 10s, and two 13s. Exodus and Fane used all of those. Okay, so 12. That leaves a 14, a 9, and a 16. Oh, yep. what did I take? A 12, a 13, and a 10. All right. 33, 35, 35. No, um, a 12, a 13, and a 10? Yeah, yeah, 35, sir. That, so e. no Fane and Exodus are max? Nope. I'm at 62 nope. out of 66, but we're good. You said 35. I said I needed 38. And I said wow, Fane needed shit. 35. We'll take the 16 instead of the 10. No, instead of the 12. Okay, I've removed it. I'm now full. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I will remove it. And then go here like this. E I only need 11. 
Du brauchst nichts noch. Uh, Melano needs a touch. And he... There's three numbers for a total of 19, 23. There's 23 total points available. Just need 17. Thank you. So, for that, closest there are... 10 and, 10 and 9? 10 and 9, mm -hmm. and then... 10 and 9, 14 on Renard. I don't need four. I mean, unless you just want to try. You need what round? Do you need a. Uh... I need 11. You need 11. Oh. Okay. They're already good. Everybody up full. I think everybody's pretty close. If not actually there. Is, there. is that anything else left over or is everything used? Everything's been gobbled. Okay. There you go. Trust my dinner to be done before we get into another combat. <laughs> <laughs> I've realised as well, half these dinners I eat, I have vegetables. On a green screen, this looks like nothing on a fork. Like, oh I actively God. just go missing. Less calories that way. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of the seafood diet, what about the not seafood diet? <laughs> I am eating fish. But yeah. This little area you are in, I'm on the wrong fucking page. You see, the faint melodies have now stopped. The water covers half the cavern and drops off sharply, as you found out. To the. Oh, John, you were not here for this one. Um, see if you scroll all the way out, mate, and go all the way over to the right, you see a windrose there. Um,. North is not up. Yeah. Your, your standard D&D &D conventions. North is not up. I'm going to move the wind rose right now. Yep, and then there was a light that came with it. Yeah. Bim bang. To the east and south, there is a door. The door on the south, tested last by our friends, is jarred closed the road door to the east however will require a bit of a swim but doesn't look jammed we came from the west uh you just came from the west yes over here is it i can over here freeze the water as we go <laughs> Hold on, I want to. I want to see something. So we don't need to. So we don't need to swim. Is is there any hole at the bottom of the water? You have a little door over there. No, I mean, like, was there like a like a openest cave area that lead out to sea or something like that? Yeah, there was an area that the uh, perception check. <laughs> All right. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's a solid four. Seems I mean, to I go on indefinitely into the darkness. I can can I roll a perception check? Why not? Yeah, let's go. Because I know there was a area that the everyone's big out thing, for me. Give me a second. Big you see, snail eel thing came out from. You just see the area where the eel came from. You also see that there is a lot of kelp in that area, and also mm. you yeah. see a very Odd shape. A box, for certain. Ooh. Ain't gonna go check it out. I'll yell if I need you guys. Um, how far <laughs> down is the box? Uh, let's call it thirty. Oh let's call it thirty feet. Okay. Yeah, I'll be all right. Ben's gonna hop in, uh, Michael Phelps style. So I'll follow him. Just go under and grab this box. Rather ornate box for certain. Looks like a rather large jewelry box. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, he's gonna come back. he's gonna come back up and uh uh go back on dry land. 
Put the box down. Okay. Yeah. Place the nice box down. You're gonna watch as the water seems to run out of it a bit as well. As you can tell, it's been under there for a little bit, and the pressure of the water has managed to seep in. Mm. Well, let's check what else. Check out what's inside. I'm gonna open the box. Brazen man doesn't even check for traps. Mm. <laughs> on the inside. A trap on the box? No, but there isn't, but, you know, in Mad Mage, everything is trapped. <laughs> you find oh, in what? here six golden statuettes, a golden mask, and two crystal scroll cases. You're going to open those up. The water has destroyed the scrolls in there, but, you know, there are still cases for your scrolls. A silver idol. Uh, and a bottle holding a clear liquid. Drink it, drink it. <laughs> um, there's a... Uh, we should make a sheet for, like, party loot. <laughs> He's been in mad page for five minutes. Come <laughs> on. Motherfucker. Well, to share the party I, loot? I, I'm start having a heart attack immediately. Fane wants a cheat for party loot. Party loot? Not just yeah. me loot? Not just Fane loot? Party loot? What is this, opposite day? This is amazing. Maybe being that changed. <laughs> I mean, all, all of the stuff that I have of bodies in, Renara had a problem with that, and... You guys are like, I don't loot corpses. I'm like, they're not going to use it. But this is like stuff that we found. So <laughs> I'm like, rather than just put it up amongst ourselves, we might as well just like keep it for later. Do we keep like a journal entry? Like, what should this go under? Like, handouts? Player handouts? Um, I mean, I'll create a little journal entry. Um, yeah, I can party loot in brackets I know right there's no S in party it's so weird that we haven't had it you know it's more I don't know if it's strange that we're getting one now or if it's more strange that we've never had one before there we go uh, there's one in there to be fair mad, in Mad Mage it's two character sheets <laughs> I mean, there's there's a bag of holding in Mad Maid, so... And the portable hole. Yeah. Yeah, but the fact that it's a character... It ain't, it ain't like a handout or none. It's an actual character sheet, like, you know... Introducing in the Mad Mage's dungeon, King, Vex, and the bag of holding special guest, Portable Hole. We bought it since <laughs> not a divan. <laughs> Smoking. Hookah, <laughs> hookah. All right, so uh, I need to say I want the golden mask. I mean, we can I like masks. Just, we can like sell it later. Yeah, but can I wear it right now? Go ahead. And you're right, gonna take the mask. Make sure it's not oh. cursed before you do that. Just in, you Can know? I detect magic on the pile of loot before he does anything stupid? Nah, what are, what are the chances that he's sliding off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop. Golden mask. Um, so, Doesn't do funnily else. enough, funnily enough, um, he slides the mask on his face, but to everyone else, it appears as if he did absolutely nothing. This leads someone to maybe believe that the mask that he wears might actually be an illusion. Haven't the party not watched you take off the mask before, though? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, I don't think we ever roleplay eating, you're right. I thought, I thought it was something on the ship when you were headed to the northern... I could be wrong, it's been a while. No, you're right, he did take off his mask. You're mm -hmm. right. You're right. Where's your, uh, how do I use the party loot sheet? I can't just, like, write things on here. Um, so, your party loot, um, i got to make you a page, that's why, fuck's sake. Um, 
Loot. So now that there's a page made. Uh, I'll hit G, then I'll hit. No, I don't want HTML. So you hit the G. Once the, there's now that page, if you hover over where it says loot as a heading, you'll see a little sketchy pad part. And then there you go. Oh, I can already see people in here. That's cool. That's new. So yeah, you just type stuff in there and then you hit save and it calls it a day. So it was six. Six oh. golden statuettes. A golden mask, which is now worn by Exodus. Two crystal scroll cases. Scrolls destroyed. A silver idol. And a pair of brown leather gloves with blue fingertips. Hmm. Pair of brown leather gloves. Did you cast that, um, detect magic on the box? You still can if you want. Just cast it on the pile of stuff. There's magic. Where's the mate? There's magic. There's uh, a lot of magic in that there box. Two items in particular. The gloves. And the silver idol. Gloves? Gloves. There were gloves inside? Okay. That was the last there thing I said. There were gloves with blue fingertips. What can you tell us about the gloves? Do they look like they are for any purpose? Are they fine, like, soft leather? Are they hard leather, like, for durable? Durable? They're very much sure. A soft leather, very flexible. Um... This tells you the type of magic, doesn't it? Should. Sure. Sure. Believe. Yeah, I'm not sure what it'd be class. I'm going to say, based off of the descriptors of magics, I'm going to say it's... What? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, no, yeah. Based off of how things are, you get a sense of abjuration magic coming from the gloves. Abjuration magic. Which is, um, pardon me, spells such as shield. What about the silver idol? Oh. Uh, give me a sec, because I also need to look for... I need to see if there is a... There we go. Uh, okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, divination magic comes from the bottle. That's about as much as I can give you. It's a bottle that looks like a carved silver statue. Mm. Oh, a bottle holding a clear liquid or the silver eye? Sorry, that was... The silver idol is the bottle that holds the clear liquid. Ah. Okay. I've done a misread, so you know, now the silver idol has a... It's got a little bit up this side that says like 100, 200, 300 mil. <laughs> In the back there's a little instruction manual that says Drink as whole, best served chilled. <laughs> expiration date. It's far past its expiration date. Oh no no! It's not due to expire until four hundred PC or AC after cataclysm, post cataclysm. Seems yet. They knew how to brew it back then. Mm. Do we need to attune to these items to figure out what they are? Um. No, none of these items. Oh, oh uh, turns out one of them is attunable. Yeah. The I learned. Oh, this actually gives me the image now. Um, so yeah. Sorry, purple gloves, burgundy accents. Hello. Oh, there's an arrow on there. That's interesting. Gloves of archery, mm -hmm. maybe. Probably. 
Is that a whip? It's abjuration magic. Mm. Uh, I think I know what these yeah. are actually, but I don't know that in character. Mm. Can I check the bottle? Like. Yeah. Check it for what specifically? Um, can I have the bottle? I mean, to see oh. what it is. Uh, I don't actually have an image of that. The image that it gives me here is just a basic potion-looking image, so I've got nothing special, I would say. Um, given the running theme of this entire dungeon, let's say it looks like a, a man dressed as a bird, and the head, you know, screws off. My head screws off. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen Indiana Jones here, people. Yeah. <laughs> Awful lot of really weird screwing things. I have not. I, I, have I actually read a fan thing. fiction yesterday. <laughs> it was actually really good. I would say... Pardon me. Without the use of an identify spell. Um, <clears throat> attuning to the globs, putting them on and attuning to them would give that person that information. The potion, however, would either need to be identified or someone gets really thirsty. Mm. <laughs> I like Maybe I'm thirsty. Huh? Can, Nothing can yet, you, like, you go ahead. Would you try a drop of it? No. Please drink whole. The instructions are <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> Best if served chilled. <laughs> we just got it from under the water, so it's as cold as it can be. Nah. You use a little bit of, uh, mm, I'm not, I, what was that spell wizards or sorcerers use? You know, the, uh, the one that makes things cold. Or hot. Or different color. Different taste. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it. There's a, that's a, you, you can, uh, make it cold. You you also, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll drink it, I want to see what happens. Yeah, I'll take a chug. I'll step back away from him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> In case he finally hits himself or explodes. Then as you, boom, and start <coughs> drinking, and you drink down hard. And fast. <clears throat> As you start and then you feel this odd, <clears throat> rather squishy thing in the bottle as a stopper. You'd give it a bit of a harder suck as everyone can use that. Boom. You swallow it down. Says who? He <laughs> <laughs> no. swallowed the worm. Way to go. Swallowed the eyeball. eyeball. What? And she think Like boba tea. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the straw. <laughs> Love boba. I meant you just you just take a drop of it, not all Do of I it. Get, you think. Okay. Do I get Vecna's right eye now? Is you stand in here? in this dungeon, cavern place. Where does it take your mind? To be honest, seeing as though my home is um, a lot of foresty, I don't really know where this place takes me. I don't think Fane has ever been... As you think of a place, you know, this place is stone walls, cold and brutalist mm -hmm. and you sit here where, where does Fane wish he was oh shit bye <laughs> Fane and he drank all of it where does Fane wish he was as he thinks about it you know in comparison this place is a shithole but X on the other hand hmm <laughs> what is that? Be anywhere you visited oh. before. 
be like the place where he died. <laughs> like I mean, not the place he died, but where where uh, where he was dead, where he's just chilling with the gods. You know, there's there's no better place than being with friends. This place may be. So you think of this place? Uh, yeah, okay. because all my friends are here. Yeah, I really right. wanted to say something, but there's a recording. I'm going to be really nice and not say it. Uh, I was about to say, well, friends. I'll do it. <laughs> friends. It does. When you close your eyes. You still see this place. You see this room. It doesn't take long. I spanked a portion of clairvoy clairvoyance. Which is essentially the, that uh, essentially the clairvoyance spell. You place a sensory eye somewhere and you can just fucking see what's going on at any given time. So whenever you close your eyes, you just see this room. Well, that's always cool. That lasts for <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> Hell, that was... A you oh, thought no, you were teleporting yeah. places? <laughs> yeah. I was kind of hoping he was going to start teleporting places. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's got to read the mechanical flavors there. <laughs> yeah, could have yeah. been worse. You uh, feel like you're going to blow up? <laughs> Nah, uh, uh, he just has the boulder. He's getting three view now. <laughs> the top down. You pushed O by accident. Yeah, he has the And I push I. <laughs> Oops, hold on. You have no idea how useful pushing O in Baldur's Gate 3 actually is. So many puzzles solved. Okay, uh, we have a door over here to go through, guys. Okay, lead the way. Alright. Jump in the water and uh. Anybody taking the what? gloves? I don't know what those are. Uh. You know, put them on. Figure it out. Uh huh. Well, if anyone wants them. I'll put them on if no one wants to, but. The gloves aren't my. They're kind of tacky. <laughs> just, to, just to see what they do. And then we can decide. Who all right, wants them. all right, fine. But if they're cursed, I'm keeping them. <laughs> <laughs> Is your uh, magnet for your cursed items? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard it put quite like that before. <laughs> if they're cursed. I'm keeping them. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you would uh, get a, pick up the gloves. I'm just, let me make sure I don't have any other magical items. I you think don't. I got. Uh, yeah, no. Nothing else requires. There was, <laughs> there was one. There was one thing I was reading where this guy was like a cursed item hunter, but the way he got around the curses was like finding um, other cursed items that canceled out the curse. <laughs> <laughs> so he had like a thing that cursed him to live forever. Like, he can never die of old age. And then he found another cursed item that eats up your lifespan. So technically, those cancel each other out. That's brilliant. That's a great idea. It was so stupid. He was, like, getting so... Dumb. Like, how? Yeah. You know, slip on these leather gloves. You know, they have this nice feel to them. Very... Almost... I suppose I'm, I'm going to use a term here. Let me know if you know what I mean. I'm going to put them on, and it's almost like a pair of marigolds. Like flowers? The yellow gloves you use to do the dishes. Ah. Oh. There's that much freedom in them. Ah. Oh. But they're also very, very thick. It's almost like you're not wearing gloves at all. Hmm. Put them over. And then he would sort of just shake his hands for a second. And they would be the the purple that they were. And then when he's done shaking his hands, 
they would be back to his regular appearing as if he never put them on. Ashley, hold on. Don't ever call me Ashley again. Ashley, hold yes, on. How dare you? I'll have you know I will never be Bruce Campbell. Never mind. Actually, no, no, I do have a Nate spellcasting in disguise self. <laughs> Where did I get that from? Because I know I have this guy so as the mask of many faces, right? I think it's maybe that. But oh, I, it's mask of many faces isn't on my sheet. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Publish invocations. Yeah, yeah, I'm using. I use it, and then I found it. Shakes his hands, and he's back to his normal. He's like these, actually, pretty nice gloves. You can attune to them on a long rest. So I wouldn't put them on your sheet for now because I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I already know what they are. But yeah, this venue moves up to the door. The nice Hi. door, a little swollen with water from time, but you know, that which doesn't open can surely be kicked in. Yeah, I kick it in. Well, style saying it, while standing in water. Yeah, I got a lot of leverage down here. <laughs> so you're gonna try and kick in the door. You're gonna hear the of the lock just rack off. The door's swollen and old and probably rotted. And you see a corridor. Trademark. Yay! No! <laughs> Trademark. I spent eight sessions seeing you see a corridor. <laughs> it's a trademark. <laughs> this On the corridor, you see a corridor. L-shaped corridor. You see that no longer is there a sheer drop-off, but in fact a solid floor. Cave here must have had a cave in some, ca well, some time ago, but it doesn't seem to have affected the rest of this corridor. As you can see the water gradually tapers off by the time it gets to the end of the corridor. It is a mere puddle. <clears throat> you guys coming? Yep. Yeah. I can hear you you're underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna use shape water to make ice so that I don't <laughs> have to swim. I'll, I'll try to follow real quick. Even though I'm already drenched in water, I fucking follow. <laughs> like, Mello, can, once we get to dry land, can you do that thing again, but like to warm my clothing? Sure. I won't lie, when you said the thing that makes things cold and the things that make things warm, sitting there thinking to myself, cone of cold and heat metal? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, but don't have the spells. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this particular area here, it's cold and echoey. You can hear the drips of the water. Off of my clothes? Shit. Off of everything, the walls are also wet and somewhat slimy. I'll clean us up and dry us up and warm us up. Could I do a nature check to determine if the slime on the walls is indication of a specific type of creature? Or if it is just merely water damage? You made a one nature check indeed, so yes. You can tell that it's not indicative of any creatures. It is due to water damage, but it's also due to the breakdown of the chemicals used in the concrete and cement and stone that was made to build this place. As, as you are touching it, you can see that it is just very, very, very faintly acidic. Not enough to cause any harm, but, you know... Lean against it for a good ten minutes and, you know, your clothes are coming out a different colour. Fucking lie. Or limestone, I forget. Mm -hmm. 
I'll, uh, keep going. So Wait, I'll stand um, behind just in case there's a trap. It's a lot of water. <laughs> oh no, it's all right. Remember, Fane can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time the dude blinks, he teleports. Wait one sec, guys. I wanna, um... I wanna, see I wanna beast. There was a, uh... There was, like, one part of that area back there that was, like, it was a stone slab. Turned stone? No, uh, it was... It didn't turn. That's level. It's the same. They're different people now. Yeah, they're people now. Um, but I want to go back and check that out after we go through here. This to be thorough. Ah, uh, I remember what he's talking about now. Took my moment. The uh, thing I took acid damage on. Yep, yeah, I remember it now. Taking a little moment to figure out, but yeah. You come to this door here. Another metal door with a similar motif to the last ones. A design of wreaths and running water. You also see a small sun peeking out in the design. Okay, um, move Clifton right here. I'm gonna have Fane open it. Okay. You swing open the door to see a wall and the debris. You close the door because the wall was scary. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, have I made a number of mistakes? Give me a little second. Let me make sure yeah, yeah. this is what I think it is. Yeah, this is actually a different number, which I changed in one game, but didn't change in the other. Just so I'm reading the right box is all. Don't worry. It's nothing bad. Change a four to a five, and I'm good to go. Yeah! You enter, passing to the threshold of the door. The echo of the door. Until this is a long and narrow and empty corridor. You don't hear anything else. <clears throat> you step on in, start moving down. This hallway is 20 foot wide, and has piles of rubble and other debris scattered along its length. The walls covered with frescoes, the southern wall displays a scene of a battle between natives, that's your wall here by the way people, natives and invaders. The northern wall, this one here, Depicts people questing for new land, their experiences during the journey, including crossing treacherous mountains, sailing over storm-tossed seas, and receiving the guidance of the gods in their battles to keep their homeland free from invasion. In the centre of the wall is a painting of a pyramid, the temple atop it, and a sun shining over the land. Double bronze doors stand at the eastern end of this hallway. Eastern end? Yes. So you just came in through double bronze doors. Apparently. Great that it doesn't tell you mm -hmm. that on fucking session. But there's 14. This is 15. Whoever wrote this and just taken out back and fucking shot. Mm. There's a little more, but yous aren't there yet. I did write this. Mm. Why am I leading? Oh shit. Slowly. Keeping my eyes out for any possible traps that a fucking dumbass paladin can f find. <sighs> Not seen it. And this place is derelict for the most part. So you come down, I've got to click your vision. You see here 
In the hall to the west is an archway carved in the form of twinning serpents. Beyond it, the corridor turns to shadow and darkness. Oh boy. Serpents? Hmm. Snacks. Hey, snakes. Where's Conan when you need him? Where's Samuel snake, Jackson? Snake. Oh, it's a snake. Had it okay. with these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking temple. I just realized <laughs> that every class has access to magic if they wanted it. As you step on into this little area here, the darkness, you can tell, cleverly painted mural reading and contributes to this grand illusion. Also, contributes to the clang and bang as huge spikes lock you off from the rest of the party. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. He was looking for traps and he walked right into one. <laughs> L. I mean, he checks out. <laughs> Common L. Well, hell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's an irony here, and you know it. Oh, I know. <laughs> Who's good at checking for traps? Not me. Actively. You actually don't have too low a passive perception. Uh, the lowest is Exodus. <laughs> Which is why I wasn't checking for traps. <laughs> In this little area here, you walk into the wall, and as you do, you hear the clang and snap as everyone watches as these spikes seem to interlock, cutting you off from the rest of the party. Awesome. You do, however, see that... This five foot deep niche is very elaborately constructed. And at some point, there were further traps in here. As I'm walking into it, you do feel what would have been vents, which seem to be bent and clogged. Oh, that's good. Rule of perception Before check. Awesome. Perception. Oh, is that intelligence-based? That's going to be bad. Perception, Ooh, is that wisdom? wisdom based. Yeah. Investigation is intelligence. You can't seem to find a way out of this. You don't see anything. You can't feel any type of trigger relief. Are these bars strictly horizontal or, ver or vertical, or do they have horizontal members as well? They're all... I suppose that's horizontal? I think that's horizontal. Hmm. They're, they're left, left to right. right. Left to right? Yeah. Vertical is something up down. I'll say they closed from the sides, not from the top? Because the horizontal position in sex means laying down. Just <laughs> <laughs> remember that thing. So now you know. Hmm. She's the second oldest here, ladies and gentlemen. Second. Second. By a mile. I am the third. <laughs> they, they all, essentially, from where those doors were on it, all came out from the sides like that. So there's nothing up and down, but there is only about an inch or two's gap between each of them as they go from thick to thin. So it's, not right. like, it's not like your vaults, it's very much you know, a case of if you weren't where you were or you were a kebab. Great. Oh, I'm going to look around again and investigate the area. Is anyone else doing? Um, is there a way that we can like break these off or something like that to kind of get through to him 
I'd say you can help him with your checks, roll your own individual checks. Um, but these, given how they look, they are, I'm going to give you a very particular description, just so you know. They are extremely shiny, almost unused, silvery, but with a tinge of Over green. Barbs. Tinge of green? Tinge of green through them. Mm. You can roll an arcana or a history check on that one. Anyone. Alright. That, that cracks. <laughs> you say arcana or history? I rolled arcana. But Mining. Mining is important. Um, there's only one type of metal out there that's that colour. Mithril or silver? Adamantine. Oh boy. Ah! So the bending and breaking of these holes Yeah. Maybe if you had a furnace? Well... I don't really need to be trapped in here. I can uh, just misty step back out of it. Do I have to see where you're misty stepping? You can still see. There's like a two inch gap. All it does is kind of take a little look and be like, there. If I get in any trouble in here, I'll, I'll misty step. Let's see if we can figure this out. No, no, magically. Let me let me try. Uh, I would like to take out my thieves tools, and could I try to inspect the the mechanisms? If I could, the the roll a perception the check. Are... Roll a perception check, but use your dexterity modifier on that one there. Yeah, use that tool as dexterous. That way, we can also add proficiency if you don't have it. So it's going to be a plus two. Did you say I had proficiency as well? Yeah, because you're using a tool you're proficient in. So yeah. plus three. So plus five total. 1d20 plus five. Uh, <clears throat> so the 20... No, oh, plus five. It's an 18. Uh, you can't see any locking mechanism on this side. However, you do notice that there is a plate... On the other side, a slab that seems to be raised just ever so slightly more than the rest. You can tell that that's a pressure plate. Uh, this will happen. Your point friend point. is standing on it. <laughs> hey, Bernard, can you do me a favor and take like, like two steps to the left? My left or your left? The fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. You can't see it as a thin layer of dust over it, but that's very much the triggering mechanism that has caused these two. I suppose the word I'm looking for is extend. Is he? Wait, is he still standing on it? No, no, no. It's in front of. Technically, in front of Clifton. Um. All right. So that's what triggered it. What opens it? I don't know. Push it again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, step on it, and this time round, you do hear that little. You didn't hear from the loud noise of the spikes. You seem to be almost re-triggering oh, it, but there's nothing to trigger this time. Mm. These are spikes and not holes? Spikes, very much so. Okay. I was going to say, uh, Fane want adamanta adamantine pole to hit people with. Mm, I'm going to run my hands over the walls in here, looking for any... Not with much pressure, just looking for any raised... Maybe counter triggers, counter mechanisms. Mm. Barring 
Uh, actually, roll me a perception check before I say anything. I was going to use your passive, but... You know, passively you didn't notice the trigger. You can't quite see anything else in here. It would seem to... De-trigger this. You can tell that there's definitely more to this, or there should be more to this, but maybe through time, it's withered away and no longer viable. Mm -hmm. Well, anything I can stick a knife or anything into, might like I'll use as a lever. Uh, the only sort of race thing here would be the aforementioned triggering mechanism that Exodus did point out as the only thing that's really there. That and the hmm. gas vents that are crushed. Alright. Well, maybe it's on the outside somewhere. Can I try to shape water in, so that in the shape of stoppers on the needle on the ends but he doesn't get more hurt the ends are touching the wall so it's like wall to wall type so he's not uh, hurt in any way it's uh, just a way that would have hurt anyone that was also standing there you said there was an inscription on the wall ahead of you no For me no you said something about great illusion great illusion the wall has been painted and designed in such a way to look like it goes on indefinitely, but it only actually goes on for five foot. A grand oh, illusion. You said the wall said great illusion. Okay, so on. <laughs> great trap, mate. Ten out of ten would get caught again. Uh, <clears throat> Renard, if you want to open up the the panel on the floor, I might be able to instruct you to disengage the mechanism and maybe push back the spikes. All right, I'll try to pry up the raised pressure plate with my dagger. Yeah, as you can kind of do that, relative ease. You know, it's old as you do underneath. You see four little parts in the corner, which would have been your tricking, tripping mechanism, and a almost like a cog in the center. Cog, alright. And so your cog here looks, and I, I now need to go ahead and be very specific. Um, your cog looks like a flat head screw set in about three inches. It's like you've got a three inch recess in this cog. You just start uh, taking stuff out, see what happens. No, 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 no. What do you see? I describe what I see to them. Uh, I, I know traps, right? I assume that the cog is meant to wound up the pikes and then the other parts release the tension. This is like a very shit drawing, <laughs> but kind of like that. Let's see, you yeah. know, big, so that's three, three inch, uh, it's got to be about, oh, it says maybe about the size of, about three inch, that's about three inch. Yeah, about three inch recess from knuckle to middle finger tip, down and in. And it is about as wide as your hand as well. It's a relatively big cog. All right. As for yourself and knowing traps, that's certainly something you have seen before. Was I right with my uh, guess? Only one way or... to find out. I mean, I know Exodus knows more than I do, right? You said I was familiar with this type of thing. If I like, if it's blatantly wrong. Well, traps over the years have changed, you know. They didn't That's always fair. remain the same. But, you know, engineering's changed, but the core concepts 
always remain. So that is worth a try. All right, you'd say uh, take your knife and put it in the the slit in the top of the the gear if you can, and twist, trying as hard as you can to keep it uh, stable, not applying too much pressure. Okay. Which way? Righty tighty or lefty loosey? Righty tighty. Okay. Roll a strength check. Drink. Or, or athletic, whichever one is more pref. Uh, whichever one's better off for you. Strength. More athletics? Uh, if it's strength based, then yeah. You start cranking this, and it does require a fair bit because you don't have that much leverage, but as you are turning the three just watch as the gates are slowly, with every turn, opening and opening and opening. Does it sound like it's clicking like it's catching, or does it sound like if I pull my knife out, it's going to shoot right back or closed? It's not clicking. Oh, shit. You can, as every, every turn that you make, you can feel equal pressure biting against your wrist. Alright. Is there any place that I can stick a python or something to hold the cog in place once I've turned it enough for me to get out? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of room for you to do that. I'd say maybe after about three, four minutes, it is open enough that someone could get in as you know if you let go of that to use a hammer and a pain you may end up a square one yep yep i don't have a pain anyway i just somebody might uh i assume renard is talking about this yeah like uh he i guess would say it'll probably click into place after it's fully wound back up if not one of the other mechanisms that you saw okay. might aid. Okay, I'll, I'll keep hmm. winding them. Let's see if it will click in place fully open. Non magical trinket. Be used as a python, is that what she's saying? To, to, that's what it's yeah, even, something like that. It says non magical trinket. But is it still technically solid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I created a key with it. I was drunk, that doesn't count. <laughs> I was very I mean, drunk that a... night. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a trinket. And I posted this this on D and D Reddit and said that some some DMs that allow that they do they do make keys. Keys keys are a whole different thing. Like I said, you know about you need to know like the shape and shit. But for this, um, I would say you could make something that would get caught in the gear. That is definitely something you could do. It wouldn't last very long, about five seconds before it cracked and broke. Are there any... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, but I'd allow it. Any stone, loose stones in the hallway big enough to put... to hold these open that I can still get out? These are all rather large pieces. Like, oh, we're, like brick size at least. I, see I got you. I pick one up and I drop it on the ground. How wide of an opening would that maintain if I, I let the spikes close on it? Hmm.
would be enough. But you'd have to be out of your armor. I see. Because you have to really, you know, suck it all in. I guess the shape water would be the same, like last for a few seconds only. The shape water would be ice, ice would be actively less. Mm. We put two of these bricks next to each other to make it wider. Would that work? Yeah, I had to think about the dynamics of the trap there and then start doing math. Yeah, um, two would be enough to get out without stripping. Alright, try that. We'll stack them, I'll wind it back down until the points are on the bricks, and then I'll sit there and wait a minute to see if the bricks look like they're going to hold before I stick my body between these adamantine spears. Who shall be your brick bearers? One of us has to have mage hand, right? Mage hand can only hold five pounds. If you think for, you think for one minute, a brick this big is going to be five pounds, then Renard is stuck there indefinitely because <laughs> you're going to run out of bricks and make an awful lot of sand. Alright, so all I gotta do is go in there and place a brick. Place a brick between the adamantine spikes. Oh. Hear yeah, that? The tone of that yeah. all changed very quickly. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not very strong. So, but I'll try to grab a. I'll try to roll a rock over. So adamantine spikes cannot be broken? Adamantine can be broken, but it requires an immeasurable amount of force or for it to be liquefied. Adamantine is the strongest metal and the it's the strongest metal in the entirety of like you know the world. Um the next most magical metal is your mithril. There's the whole reason you can't be crit with adamantine armor. Is because it's just so damn powerful. Mm. Wish I could take it with me to make armor. What about damn. horses? And adamantine is made with mithril. They... We can probably find a way it to get it broken. out of the wall. All the spikes. So with what sorry get broken? Um, with horses. Would horses be strong enough? Not to break it, no. A pit fiend might. <laughs> we don't have one of those. The two bricks is more than enough. Is after about a few minutes of winding it down and such, it does set. You do hear the odd scrapings and creakings of the bars, but after a minute or so, it seems solid. All right, I'll step back out. Give me a sec, I'll remove the wall. Boop. There we go. You should be able to move forward now. Um Boop. let's do this. Stop drawing. Boop. Mm. That took half an hour. Good traps always do. <laughs> Um, adamantine? Just checking here, um... It's when you alloy adamantine that you add, like, mithril, silver, and electrum to it. So, yeah, adamantine armor would require some mithril or silver or, god forbid, electrum. The greatest currency of all. Mm -hmm. Can we, uh... Can we find a way to get those spikes out the wall? Like, look at the mechanism. <laughs> My guy, each spike is 20 foot. Where the fuck are you putting that? 20 foot. 
of empty my oh my god <laughs> i don't know where we're putting that it's somewhere it gets period with us the dragon lands no 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 the adamantine peak mate the adamantine peak yes you take down a dragon with that <laughs> Hey, feel oh, free to go in there and hunt around. I don't know. Nah, I don't, I don't think we can get it out of the wall in the first place. Because if they're 20 feet straight, there's no way that it's, it's coming out. we got to break that out. Mm -hmm. You and Kitsune. And, and we're not breaking out of man's eyes, so. There's what no way to pull those out. What, what grinds my gears? What really grinds my gears is how the fuck did a Nerith and whatever that snake was get into the pool? She been chilling, you know. Who put house. them there? That's my thing. Maybe there's a way out in the bottom. I don't know who keeps on putting these dangerous enemies in these encounters in these tight areas. Do you want to go in and see if there's a doorway out of this on the back side, or do we backtrack? Where we came from, I didn't I'll see do any that. other way out of here. I'll um run down here. Make a perception check, mm -hmm. will ya? Okay. Oh no, I just as you're going, just as you're going, don't worry. It's... Okay, okay. Uh. Okay. Perception. Boop. Yeah. Ooh. Very echoey, very long, very nice, very old. Very falling apart. Mm. It's cold. It's wet. Apart from that, no, there's nothing on here. Mm. Oh, there's nothing here. Just wolves. Just wolves. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was that limestone thing I was talking about earlier. Maybe it can be moved. Bernard, Melano, perception checks. That tracks. The only reason yeah. I bother about it is because you put a door on it. Melano. And I'm just like, that's open. <laughs> you crack that. The painting of the pyramid. The sun on the wall to the... Scroll out, scroll out, scroll out. North. You notice that... At the top, there's a section of the paint seems a little darker than the rest. Not by much, a, a faint hair. But... I send my mage hand up to see, like, to knock on it or something. This mage hand goes up and you... You watch as the sun, just the whole middle section of the sun painted in this pyramid just goes <coughs> and drops. Ooh, doors. <coughs> the Lord. <laughs> Remember, you played a module that was out in Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Some of the shit in this is just out there. Traps uh, it in uh, half an hour. <laughs> the worst part about it is that he has Misty Step. <laughs> yeah, but Misty Step can be useful in combat and he can only cast that once per day. Whole time. No, what number is well, this? Melano, you discovered it, you should go in first. Hmm. <laughs> not somebody that can okay. detect traps. I mean, that's not me. Not you. Walking out of them isn't detecting them, mate. I feel I should point yeah, that out. Yeah, it's not me. That's what I'm saying. Well, can, I see, me. can I see any traps as I start walking? <laughs> Funnily enough, there's a little area here. <clears throat> so, <laughs> the wall at the end of this corridor has a bas relief sculpture of a warrior armed with a spear. His shield, which rests upon the floor, resembles a sundial, complete with a marker standing on the outside of the wall. Etched into the shield's surface is a very old 
dialect. Renard, I'm going to ask you for a history check on this one, please. Not, not looking forward to this. Uh... Well, you can't necessarily read it in that regard. You can tell that it's a very, very, very old pre-cataclysm dialect that Slamnik seems to root off of. Hi, Meg. There's no fish for you. There's no chips for you. Fuck off. Old, old Salamnic. And on what is the dialect? Salamnic. The shield? Oh, fuck off! No wasp! What? I hate wasps in the park. There's one in the hall. Don't open the door, I'll get in here! Is it what? Was, yes! Oh, okay. As long as it's dead. We don't have Good. to move. <laughs> so what? Uh, Solamnic. S O L A M N I C. Was it? Yet? Bracelet. I've not seen your bracelet. No. Is it missing? Sorry, internet's fucking up again. I can barely uh, I don't understand anything. That's why I asked you to keep an eye out for it. I thought you'd found it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna close this door again now. Uh, there is, it's a very old dialect of Salamnic. Um, you can't quite make it out as, you know, roots and such have changed. I will say, however, um, this hallway that you are in, as well, corridor is a high ceilinged and decorated with sculptures mounted on walls. Two corridors branch off from the main hall. A narrow one to the east and another to the west. The statutory, the statuary hmm, that adorns the walls consists of four sculpted animal heads, each one six foot above the floor, two to three feet in diameter. Opposite the passage that leads to the east is the stylized head of a coyote. And across the hallway, going west, is the head of a grinning bear. Next, near the south end of the corridor, is the head of a bison and mounted on the eastern wall. The northern end of this area on the wall is what appears to be the head of an eagle, its beak open, something shining from it. Hmm. Shiny. Okay, so I, I didn't get ask. three quarters of that because internet died. Let's go. I will paste it to you in chat. Um. Or I don't think like it's a really, it's really not good. You basically described that picture there. Yeah, but I didn't get any of it. Any of it. <laughs> I was like, I'll put it out in excesses. Kindly saying what I said verbatim for you. Thank you. <clears throat> no problem, I typed it all myself. She's found the bracelet, guys. Nice. Alright. Where was the shield? Let's see over here. I'll be honest, yeah. the module is not the best for this one. Next to the eagle's head with the bow of shiny object in its mouth. Oh. Yeah, I'd say just about there. You're working. Is he supposed to have done it, sir? Uh, Nick, stop. What's up, Nick? Might detect magic. Still be going. Still uh, be on. You, Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Uh, you're in that trap an awful long time, Nick. <laughs> yep, okay. So I see, uh, so we are. <laughs> yeah, I would say about there is the way it's. I'll be honest, the even the map here doesn't actually make room for it, so I, I would just say it's over here. Alright. 
but yeah. One second. Uh... Statues? Mm. Oh no, much worse. Along both sides of this corridor, deep in shadows, human figures appear to be floating above the floor. They seem to be suspended in the air. As you take a good look up, you realise these things are on a ledge, two foot above. And they are corpses. Mm. Mm. Exodus, there's a bracelet up here that match your it'll match your uh your mask. Where? <laughs> This way, this yeah. eagle oh. over here. Oh, yeah. right here. Where? Uh, right here. All right, I walk over to it. I like the guys. How much I think the the bracelet weighs or the width of it? Okay, let's see. Uh, the height of it. No, no, no. I get. Uh, uh, let's see. Gonna do a Indiana Jones transaction. Yes, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, I would say you're probably looking at about two inches by two inches, intricately carved, almost mm. suspended there. Weight doesn't necessarily seem to matter. As it doesn't seem to, well, you can make a duplicate, yeah. Just look around it, you know. It looks thin. It's definitely the <laughs> words for it, you know. No more than, no more than about maybe five millimeters thick at most. And then you get, I've got a ruler here. I can actually tell you whether or not that's actually thick. That's actually quite thick. Yeah, mm. about three millimeters. <laughs> um, <Come on. laughs> doesn't seem to have much weight to it. I, I like. To, I, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do the the switch, Mellow. I can help you with the mage hand and the the, the, the bracelet. Um, mage hand can pat you on the back if you do a good job. Okay. <laughs> Andrew, could you? He looks the melon. I was like, could you make me like a uh, another bracelet that I could swap out this one for? I already. Did. <laughs> what was I talking? <laughs> like, that's why I made a duplicate with a prestidigitation. Well, you didn't say it. Because I wasn't the sure. In chat. Yeah, because internet's really bad. No, no, I, I heard you say everything. Don't worry, I heard you say what you said, you were saying. Yeah. Yeah, and you're breaking well, up again. <laughs> I'll take the amulet, or whatever, the, the bracelet, and i got to swap them real quick. I'll try to do the Indiana Jones. So as you <laughs> try to push the bracelet, and then pull the bracelet. Doesn't seem like moving it left or right or pulling it towards you is the done deal there. As the beak seems to curl over it to stop it coming out the way it is. And the bracelet is shaped in such a way that it doesn't push either. Mm. It's very much a very it's very much a singular way to get this thing out. If you gotta pull it. No, you got to push it. Oh. That seemed really sarcastic. You've already tried pulling it. You've already tried shaking it. None of these. The only other way is push to pull. Right. No, no. I was thinking of, like, bringing up the other bracelet and, like, pushing it against the... What's oh, it called? like, kind of lining and then going like that? Kind of, like, lining it up and sort of, like, sliding it the first one to make room to sort of slide in the second one to sort of keep that tension in place and then trying to pull it but if it's like that i'll yeah i'll try to set it up there and then apply a quick bit of pressure outwards if needed to 
yank it out or grab it out gently. In the words of an AD&D module, let's check your dexterity with sleight of hand. Okay. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna be amazing. Fourteen. Ooh. Do you go like this to put it in the beak. Your arm is stuck in this beak. <laughs> Wait, why'd you get his guidance on me? Fine. <laughs> ah, I told well, you to... it could, would, would work better with me. I'll let, oh, know yeah. that, I'll let you know that I used the same DC that the perceptions were, which was 15. Ah, Just just to see so that something else, you know, like a fucking 1d4 would have been enough. As you are now stuck there. You can feel the amulet. You can also feel your wrist fucking shattering. Uh, Exodus screams. It's okay, Exodus. We can just, um... Oh, that looks bad. Like we have to amputate. <laughs> My or we can, um, we can get you another arm from the... From the lady who makes stuff. Bane, I know we just got you, I know we just got you back, but I will kill you. <laughs> I mean, if you have a smarter idea to get your arm out of there, I, I'm Lift all ears. Lift the fucking beak! <laughs> Stick the shaft of my... You asshole! <laughs> Pry it in the mouth and try to pry it back open. I'll try to help with my <laughs> This is very much... solid. The... I would say the... hinges... that hold... this contraption are very much like skip gears. They only go one way. Hmm. Shit. Well, hell. It's the only potential Ooh. way here is some form of destruction. Now, I don't know about yous, but I think Exodus with a prosthetic fucking mint. There we go. Every pirate just, has uh, a prosthetic, you know? Mm -hmm. Just uh, cut huh. off the arm, oh, uh, just burn the wound shut, and then just... Uh... I what do you say? I need that arm. <laughs> I need For what? That. It's only your left. You can live, man. <laughs> put a hook on it, and anytime you need to grab a rope, use the hook. Ta-da! Rope burn doesn't exist. Yeah, that's actually such a smart plan. No! <laughs> Unarmed strike, 1d4 fire damage. I mean... Wow. Do we have, like, hammers and stuff? We can try to break it? I would say you could certainly try and break the statue. That's what you wish. I have a crowbar. Not... Oh no, I have a hammer. Why do I have a hammer? Uh, well, that's uh -huh. a good thing you do. I had a bunch of oil in my sheet and stuff from the uh Oh no, from the uh from the mining place. Yeah, I probably got that from the mining place. I'll oh, take my hammer and uh I'll go to town. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just take a look at your sheet. Okay. So, your hammer here, I would say, would be akin to unarmed strikes. Your hammer would be bludgeoning damage. Now, I'm going to ask you whether or not you wish to follow through with this before I give you any other information. And this is the, if you say yes, it's locked in, consequences are yours. Yeah, I don't the consequences are mine. <laughs> Do I want to follow through with breaking the statue? Using the hammer. What, should I use my fists instead? <laughs> fists do bludgeoning damage. 
Yeah, I've, I mean, I've seen monks break stuff with their fists, like break rocks with their fists. I think that's a. I think that's in a. Uh, so a monk's rebel claw. You can you know you can use your hammer or you can use your fists. Um, just simply put, it has to be bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. Piercing and slashing ain't gonna do much good. It's fucking stone. You know, hammer, okay. hammer or fists, your choice. You guys have fun. Uh, we're all gonna come back to this uh, decision. <laughs> no, no pressure. <laughs> I just, I'm losing Another feeling. Ten minutes spent on this. <laughs> Fingers are going pretty cold in there. Can I at least warm them up. <laughs> It, it's just that joke. I, have you ever broke your hand at all before? Or like your wrist? No. No. After a while, your fingertips get a little bit cold. I told you, man, we're going to have to amputate. <laughs> not amputating shit. I'm not getting my shit. My arm ended in a goddamn dungeon. You think you gotta re-break the statue? Like, I said we use a hammer, he was like, you can do... All I'm saying is, it needs to be budgeting damage. However, once, I, once you've agreed to it, I'll give you the rest. But I'm not giving you the rest beforehand. Do it. Do it. Punch it. Punch it. You said, you said go ahead and cut it off. <laughs> no, no! Punch the edge of the statue. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out which mailbox is mine again. I thought it was seven, but... <laughs> <laughs> are, are you going to... Are you hammering it off? You punched it off? Or are you thinking of something else? What fucking mailbox is it? Good chat, mate. Good chat. This is I'm not in a place where I can use a computer right now. No, I'm just asking because I, I can I can, you know, run it through mind wise. Just do you wanna punch it? Do you wanna hammer it? Do you wanna do try something else? Think of something else? I'm gonna do my uh I'm gonna use my fists because it offers more control than a hammer I might hit X this hand if I use my Final answer? Hammer. Yeah, final answer. Okay. <coughs> then, I'll roll these attacks. I'll also let you know, reading fully, since I'm like that. <clears throat> the beak has an AC of 16 and 25 hit points. It can be broken by dealing bludgeoning damage, reducing it to zero. The player caught in the beak takes half damage from every successful blow. <laughs> so yeah, uh, arguably, you could maybe be taking a little more damage here, but let's find out. So, miss, miss, hit for seven. Okay, so hold on, I'll, I'll do all our math here, so... Hit for seven, not one, 25 for six, 18 for four makes 17, mess, mess, 17, 19, 19, 24, 26, it's not bad. So, after a good Five minutes of punching and breaking, you do come free. And Exodus, you take a total of 13 bludgeoning damage to your wrist and hand. Ah. You are, however, free with a bracelet in hand. Worth it, I put it on. We should have just amputated it, man. Bracelet also requires attunement. 
Shit. Well, I'm just. I don't even. I don't even know if it's magical or not. I'm just wearing right. it. I'm just vibing with it. Is it pretty? Very pretty. It's nice and gold and intricate with earthen designs. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. <laughs> Yeah. The road ahead of you, now unclear. Passage to the east, the north, and the west. I'm gonna spend a little time in protecting the shield sitting here. You can see that the shield that was there. Um, Give me a perception check, I'll give you it with advantage because you've been looking at it for so long. You know, fuck, fuck Exodus, shield. Well, he's okay. Yeah. Only Exodus. Ooh, just the number we needed. As you look, you can see that with this shield, instead of being part of a solid carving, it seems to have a seam. Chips around the seam suggest that the shield can be pivoted. As you look, you can tell that... It seems to have a sundial mark, which is movable. <laughs> Probably releases the beak on the bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try turning it. You turn it. <laughs> the wall behind you. You came through. It closes. Oh, great. Where am I? Uh, the one over here. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright. Turn it back the way I can turn it back. Is that back? Drops. You appear to find a key to the fucking door. Alrighty. I didn't hear all of what happened to Exodus, so I was up away from my keyboard. Bye. I'm done. I'm, my curiosity is satisfied. What are we moving to next? <laughs> Exodus need healing. I think he brought it on himself. I brought it on myself. I just wanted fashion. I wanted yes. to look good. Yeah. Alright. Dire profession has caused you to have a broken arm. Honestly, it doesn't even feel that bad. <laughs> just a scratch. It's merely a flesh wound. It's just it's a, a scratch. Wound. What are you talking about? Your arm's off. <laughs> it just sort of flops no. it around. You're bleeding all over me. <laughs> uh, next week I'm wearing that shirt. Yeah. Directions. Which way are we thinking? Uh, I don't like this hallway. I mean, we have free direction. Okay. We have free directions to go. I would say go west, young man. I say, young yeah, man. Oh. All right. Well, you go first. I go first. I'd, yeah, I would go, but I'm injured. You know what? Uh, Let's go east. And no one healed me. Clifton. I would if I could. Lord. I'm Clifton, you sound awfully effeminate. Cautiously approaching this hallway. As you start to head up this hallway. Very narrow. See it only goes off about 30 foot before swinging a right. You do you see the edge 
of this corridor here. Faint, glimmering light. Get my head around here. Turn, you see that the faint light seems to turn round the corner. It seems to be dancing and beckoning. Follow the light. Any ideas? Go onward. Or does anybody have any trepidation for whether we should follow this light? What light? No, it just ran around the corner. Oh, I didn't see the light, but can I... S Question, basic knowledge, do I know what a will-o'-wisp is? Uh, give me a... Let's go with religion check. The name sounds familiar. <laughs> you never said it's just like light. Could be a firefly. Do you, you would stay say in the shadows something. just in case? You know what they say. You would not believe your eyes. I have 10 million fireflies. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Watch this. In the pie of this corner. The faint light seems to vanish off. Further down the way. Hey, Fane, this is obviously a trap, so could you, like, go in front of me? What? Obviously, it's a trap. Oh, this is obviously a trap. Could you please, like, move in front of me, Melon? Oh, why not? Oh, he's just going for it. <laughs> They're just going. I'm just trying to see what comes up, and he's just fucking picking it. All right. Oh, no, no. Look, let's see what comes up. Oh no, I was just seeing if there was anything else that I needed to read. You know my tense. If I read half a sentence and fucking bullshit the rest. Yeah. You look here. You can see the bobbing light. Just. Off in the distance, kind of floating in this odd up and down, almost like this really weavy infinity sign that I'm doing with my hands because, yeah, I don't know. It's a cool sign. Well, see, so you also see a triangular stone. Right, give me a sec. He's approaching from. He's approaching from the south. So, you come across a 10 foot wide. Corridor. You no, we're approaching from the west. You're or... approaching from the south. Yes. Ah, okay. Can you come from the south? Right. The end of the corridor, a ten foot wide triangular stone that comes to a point. The light you've been following seems to vanish between it. Mm -hmm. Hmm? So is this like a, it's a wall here? You can move past it. Okay. Oh, you should be able to. You fall. Why would, why would I know that's right there? You fall into a deep. Deep pit, because if I put the pit there and show you on the map, you're just, you're going to know it's there. It's a yeah. trap. You're not meant to oh, know it's there until it's too late. Well, I mean, why did I see that? Why did I see that walking forward? Oh. Let's put a wall in its place so you couldn't. Because it's a trap. Ooh. 
You fall into this ten foot white pit. Beyond it, you now see the triangle. And the dim light comes up from the pit. Now I just need to figure out how much damage you take real quick. Mm. Pit is ten foot deep. Ten foot deep filled with several humanoid skeletons. So, the good news is that you only take it's 1d6 damage, ain't it? Yes, one yeah, per ten feet. You take 2 bludgeoning damage. And everyone else ah. sees the little will of the wisp. I'm sorry, how the fuck does that work out? Ah, there we go, kill. Um, will initiative. With, with the will of the wisp? With the will of the wisp. With the wisp of the will? Yeah. All of us, or we just let him solo this? We just let him solo this? Let a person say we just let him, we let him prove himself. Somebody help. The will of the wisp is beating in my hands. Oh, shit. What's that, John? That's no good. What So did we break um, anything? Um, only his ego. <laughs> what? Did I get logged off? I think he did. Ah, shoot. Hit the wrong button. Sorry, I'll roll I'll in for you. Just so everybody knows. I'm not fine. You? You're in, I'll let you roll. You're in the initiative tracker, at least. What's my monk, monk, monk? I'm coming. That's a bonus action. The fuck? You are good to go? Um, uh, just about. Then I will get us some absolutely amazing, intense combat music like you've never heard before. Clockwork Dragon. Having good rolls today. One, two, I'm missing someone. Clifton! Missing the Clifton token. Are we? Uh. I got it. Clifton did good. Mm. And we are up with Willow the Wisp. Oh. Well, in the little hole that he is in, the Will of the Wisp will just do what it lured you here to do and try fucking kill you, mate. That's a mm. seven. Mm. Miss Clifton. He's, tr he's trying. He's, he's trying its best. <laughs> Participation award, if nothing else. It sure <laughs> is. A nine will miss, and what the fuck are you even targeting? <laughs> the eel. The uh. Oh, it's down to the ground, isn't it? That's full of cover. Yep. Did it answer your turn? No, nah, that's it. Exodus. Are, uh, are there any rocks? No, this area is actually surprisingly clear of rock, debris, and even slime. It's very much a not broken part of the area. Would you believe me if I told you I have zero ranged weaponry? Yes. It's... Wait! I lied, I have a short bow with eight arrows. Let's go! I take that out. I'm gonna beep boop boop bonus action dash. 
Meow. Raul. I'm gonna try to shoot that willow bitch. Uh, I think that you got a better chance of hitting Fane, but sure. Ooh, you're right, I could hit Fane. <laughs> and no one would be the wiser. 18 will miss. Missed? That little fucker got legs. I'm moving back. I remember the last time y'all fought a Willow Wisp. That's my turn, but I'm thinking about it. Filling off. Yeah, I will do a moon fire on it. Very dexterous little fucker saves. You're gonna vroom, vroom, but you're just gonna watch it moves very just ethereally over to the sides. Then else your turn? Alright. It's um Full cover there. So this advantage? Or just doesn't hit? It's in full cover, so you can't even see it to hit. Ah. Okay. Never mind then. Judge uh, judging by that, having reread your lunar one also wouldn't the moonfire one also wouldn't hit. I'll give you that one because it's a deck save and you kinda know it's in there. Um Little dude still got a 19. Okay. Did anyone else your turn? I'm gonna move a little bit closer and that's that. Bane! Absolutely shocking turn of events this is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. He's turned into the octagon. Ah, uh, more like the rectangle. How do I... Breathe without you? I want to know. Dolvian Rhymes fans here. Noted. A what, what damage are you done? Oh... Uh, what damage can I do again? Acid? Why not? I guess all of the elements are bludgeoning. It's it's all of the elements. Except for, except for like force and psychic, I can't. Those aren't elements. Oh, uh, by elements, I thought you meant. Yeah. So, uh, what's your damage type? Acid. Why not? Acid. Is acid an element. Uh, it's a type of dragon. I can do it. Yeah, I can do. I can do acid damage. There's the elemental and uh, the metallic and the chromatic dragons, or gem or something. Um, they all do elements. Uh, second attack, 22 hits. 18 just misses. Uh, so you're gonna punch this little ball and throw a little. Pss. Nine will miss. And that's it. Okay. Bernard. Oh. I'm gonna go up there and see what's going on in there. Do you like down you Fane. see the shadow boxing of the Will of the Wisp and Fane? Alright, I'm gonna use this thing. Ooh, that's a uh, third level magic missile from up to this area. I think it's five of them though, right? At third level it is five. Um uh, five dots for two damage, which is ten force damage. Here. <laughs> well of the wisp. Not looking too good. The light very much shaking and dimming. Did anything else for your turn? Um, 
That's it. Any shocking turn of events? Pain. 18 for 8 lightning damage. You feel it? It hits. Zzz, just it run through you a little bit. Clifton! That's you, Jalen. Yes, it is. Alright. <laughs> Going to um, use Holy Word. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm what does that do again? <laughs> it's a basically like a firebolt with radiant damage. As you place your hands together, yes. rub them, look down, and go, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Misses. Then I'll shoot him. No, that's it. Echidas. Echo Dose? Ah, oh, man. So, he doesn't really need to go over there. He's like, he's got only got like eight arrows. So he's gonna like, go up here and like raise his bow like he's trying to get a shot. But then uh, he'd be like, oh, I, you know, you just, I can't see, I can't get a clear shot. Pretending as if Clifton being in the way is causing him not be able to see. He's gonna push him in there. If only I was a bit more impulsive. Dish. So, uh, just taking a look and moving back? Yep. Now we know. Um, where do we need to go to see it? Um, how far? Cliff, by John and Cliff, uh, by Renard and Clifton, that's full from where you are. Getting a good look, I'd call that half cover for the will. Okay. So, uh, half cover um, turns out I'm an idiot. Rules is written half cover is plus two to the thing's AC or negative two to your attack. Okay. Um, I'll Also what works. Now? It has a plus two to its AC and Dex. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it now. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that misses. Okay. I tried. <laughs> like I said, I remember the last time you fought this. John made about twenty con saves. Hmm. Pain. Alright. Pain's going to make sure he has his target on this will of the wisp. Um. Hmm? And as you unleash Bruce Lee's favorite drink, what the mm -hmm. world <laughs> vanishes. And you now find yourself in the middle of a hole, in the middle of a dungeon, where there are dead bodies everywhere, and all of your friends looking down upon you. I can't believe that that wisp actually killed people. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> offer his hand up to Renard, can you help me out? Ten foot. Yep. Ten, ten, foot is, ten foot is still pretty... Oh yeah, it's ten foot and Fane's like five something, so he has like five feet. Okay, yep. And uh, Fane also has a negative to his strength, so Fane doesn't jump. Fane asks for uppies. <laughs> I mean, I, I could ninja out of here. Level seven, technically speaking, vertical surfaces mean nothing to you. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll help. I'm a level six. Oh. Pathetic. <laughs> Just throw him a rope. <laughs> it's you. See, but that's you can you know, claim up and out of there. No issue at all. Alright. Uh, 
right there. Is this a dead end right here, or...? So, this triangular pillar's apex points towards the pit. Scratches on the floor, wall, ceiling, scraping short arcs on either side of it are very easy to see. Uh, I'm going to ask for a perception or investigation check from either of you two. Please, no, not all at once. I'm sorry, I'm grabbing perception. I'm guiding myself. In the future, I'm going to ask you to guide yourself before you do stuff. However, okay. you can see here that, in this case, the pillar can be pivoted to either end to allow passage. Now, do not ask me fucking how, but apparently that can be pivoted left or right like a turnstile. Just hug it and we'll dance. <laughs> like a, uh, one of those fancy doors that go all around. Are you walking through, yes or no? Yeah, sure. Woo! Then fain is you walk through. Do this. Why is it a troll over here? Hell! No. Another right. long corridor. Trademark. I guess I'll follow. Ah, uh, yeah, we played my favorite game here. Split the party. Looks like I have to make this epic jump and I got to fucking sprint and jump. I can't bring uh, I can't bring Renard over without seeing his token. He's just gonna jump across. Uh, he... Renard has strength. Now you should be able to just walk over that. I've just kind of opened it all up at this point. <clears throat> On this side here, it reads, and I shit you not, the hallway abruptly ends. <laughs> It's got a whole box for that. But yeah. Not abruptly. Hell, that's long. Oh no, if you come at it from the other end, it abruptly ends. Oh. If you look ah. here. Very bad. You are walking through. You see a long corridor. That's right, guys. It does abruptly end. There's no, uh... For use. You walk forth. Bane and Clifton. Out of curiosity, how what angry is RJ going to be that you've killed this character? <laughs> Out of ten. He's going to be... Two. Uh, like a five. If you look here. You don't notice it. But as you walk, your foot just snaps a very narrow band of copper. As it does, you then step on this mm -hmm. nice little pressure plate. And as it does... I mean, we, I would have thought it would have... <laughs> we would have learned the last <laughs> Two huge walls come down, and as they do, Bane, Clifton, the room starts to fill with sand. I'm back. <clears throat> Which room? Ours or theirs? Their newly acquainted room. Where the walls have fallen down. Oh boy, look for anything out here. Uh -huh. Nothing can raise the walls.
Uh, roll a perception check, Renard. Can I help him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I can't see you roll because I'm looking at the book. I got something else, so I'll roll up <laughs> advantage. Roll up advantage. Yep. Yeah, I'm. Hel I'm helping you. Ayo, hey, that's much better. Cool, right? So, ah, uh, let's see. Do you hear the click and the clash of these? New walls falling and sealing the indicated area. There is nothing else that you can see out here that will assist. Alexa, start a timer for 10 minutes. It's all the time you got you've got. You got me fucked up. That was the most. Intimidating thing ever. That's the most intimidating Alexa. Remember, that's like a super villain being like, hey Alexa, got 10 minutes till this dead oh, laser cuts off this guy's testicles. As the two walls come down, wood and copper, and you can see that there are little bits of sand kind of pulling at the bottom. Bane, Clifton, the sand slowly rising. This isn't coming down big and heavy. This is coming down at a treacle. There's enough there that pulls. Like, but... an, like an hourglass on 10 minutes. Like a 10 minute hourglass, yeah. That, that fills a 15 foot by 10 foot by 20 foot. <laughs> oh, I was AFK for a second. It's this over here, right? This yeah. area? Yeah. Fuck. And we, we don't know what's happening over there, right? We just see that the wall happened? You see the wall happened, and you can hear this shh from behind these thick walls. Guys, I think there's a lot of snakes over there. <laughs> how how about, do you know how about thick is the wall? Mm. You can't quite tell from that. They came down with a thundering crash, but as for their exact thickness, anyone's guess. How strong are the walls? Uh, uh, God, should I close? Do I see anything? You what? <laughs> I close my eyes. Do I see anything? Not anymore. No. Um. It only, you close your eyes. Only eyes. No. Oh, no. Uh, the clairvoyance only lasts 10 minutes. Huh. Uh, the walls look strong. This this doesn't look rotted. Even the copper is still copper. It's not oxidized. It's very much... I was going to say it's very much bronze, but no, it's very much fucking copper. It's copper, Matthew. This is the unsprung trap. It's like copper. Copper. What's copper about it? The uh, braces that hold it's like all, all the things that hold this together are copper. It's right. so like copper wire, copper braces, copper all right. screws. Alright, alright. He looks to Melon and says, Didn't you say something about he metal earlier? I don't have the spell. Shit. I was thinking more of Phantom Steel that maybe we could not break down the walls. It's oofs. Can you what, sorry? Can you get anything under the wall that just came down to pry it upwards? You could certainly try. Um, I'm gonna have you. Clifton use guidance on himself. And can he try to lift this wall up? Certainly also, try. Also, guide, guide Renard if he's gonna do the same. Gonna require what is that, a yeah, check? I'm gonna require specifically a athletics check by the book. Oh, athletics, athletics, athletics. He has a plus five in athletics. Why <laughs> <laughs> not one? <laughs> Can you try one more time? <laughs> 
when he went to give up after sword. failing one. Oh, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna step back. Oh, oh, still guiding you. Still guiding you. Plus four. Twenty-three plus four. Wait, 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 wait. He has a D, he has a D four. Please, please. It's Clefty. Hey, hey, hey. Gives this the large hanging tool with the help of Renard on the other side as well. You do manage to lift this up. He -Man, dun -dun -dun -dun. Actual He-Man strength from this cleric. As you watch as the muscles are shaking, the sand coming down from filling your boots. Oh, quick something. Push. Put something under there. Oh. Alexa, how long left on timer? You have four minutes and fifty seconds left on your ten minute timer. Alexa, cancel timer. Ten minute timer cancelled. <laughs> Good girl. The wall comes slamming down once more. Narrowly escaped oh. death. DC was 25. Whoa. It was a uh, DC 20 if you used a crowbar. I have a crowbar. <laughs> but I also have a minus one. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh. back to back that once. You can't rate that shit. Yeah, this hallway here closed off in perpetuity as you still hear these mm. sands picking away going down I would like so, to read I, ha I, have an, I have an idea guys why don't right, we go. check um, for traps next <laughs> like always <laughs> Yeah, but it's <laughs> kind of less fun that way. It's crazy that it's crazy because uh, Clifton has the spell find traps, but it's not prepared. <laughs> mm. Well, shoot, go back where we came, I guess. Uh, I would like to reiterate the point that whoever made this place is a fucking asshole. <laughs> well, uh, from whence we came. You mean the okay. overall dungeon adventure? No, no, no. I'm, this is in character. This is Exodus being like, who the fuck? <laughs> what, who, who builds torture death traps? Like, that was constantly. Scary. Every hallway leads to a torture death trap. That was the scariest trap yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was... yeah, who the fuck? Is this Cube? Is this the movie Cube? Yeah, Cube is a good film. Cube... Which one? Well, I've seen Cube 2. You watched Cube 3? What about Cube Squared? Or Cube Cubed? <laughs> These are the names of horror movies. What are you laughing at? At least they are named correct. You're not like the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> Hypercube fucking messes with your mind, man. Such a good film. The part where they, like, mm. fuck until they become skeletons? Mm. This is the one where the time constantly keeps warping around as the cube folds in on itself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just look down this corridor. I'm gonna check for traps. Another... Just in case I see any other stuff on the floor. <laughs> Another long corridor. Roll perception check. Yeah. Looks fine. Looks like the corridor yeah. you just came from. Looks like the corridor. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> can, I, can I check I mean, this one? Because <laughs> I'm, uh, because I'm leading down this hallway. Your passive perception is good enough that you can, you know, your sum your summarization agrees with Melano's perception. What's my what's my passive? Your passive's a fifteen. Okay. And I'm not seeing these traps. That's scary. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, it's because that one there. That one was like a. That one was high? Oh no. No, that one was 15, however, you had already walked into it before oh, okay. I, I got, got to reading it. Gotcha, guys, gotcha. gotcha. Yep, you know what to say? The, the greatest trick a trap has ever pulled on us was making them <laughs> making us believe. I you I use the mouse keys to walk because I um I kind of think it's slower. <laughs> but here's how funny this book is, and I need to go back two pages to read what you are about to see in this okay. corridor. Nothing yet. Just you know, <laughs> up there is the twenties. And down here, you ain't even in the twenties yet. We lost Jalen. Just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, but wait, wait, but he was in the lead. He was the one going to get stuck in a trap. You know, I have to take up the the mantle. On you go, Exodus. Uh evasion and all that you know <laughs> who has evasion I'm multi-classing the end of this corridor you see a small alcove holding a three foot tall pedestal on which rests a small silver coffer 15 foot in front of the alcove is a single small step up the floor inside the alcove on the floor is an elevated additional two feet now I hope someone understands that because I've read that five times and that still don't make no sense. Is that this way? Yes. It's essentially like a like a like a really long staircase with really big steps, which are like ten five feet wide each. And each is like one step forward, I think. And there's like a money purse at the end, and this is such an obvious trap. <laughs> it's everything's a trap. <clears throat> Bring it then. If it's such Make an obvious trip, you know exactly where to spring it. Yeah, I can spring it alright. Alright. If you believe it to be a trap, roll a perception check and find out. Yeah, I'm gonna. I believe yeah, this is a trap, trap like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, it's a trap like <laughs> what, what do I see this trap at? As you look, you see. On the base of the two foot step along the edge of the raised floor is a very thin metallic glint from a hinge that runs across the full width of the floor. So I believe that's, from how I'm reading it, that's there. Mm, I thought it was here. But this is, so it's like a hinge right here. Mm. I, yeah, I'd say it's here personally because you know why would you trap someone as they're just getting into a place where they're going to give them less time to run but as I, I I for this the brevity of it because of what it is I would just say it's there you know closer, right. to the, closer to the object of your desire is there anything on like in the on the ceiling um no still your standard 20 foot ceiling uh, am I am I good just to step over it? Like, do I know how these type of traps work? Like, do I think this floor is about to fall in if I see a hinge? It's very much a case that you can tell that the um, that's fucking Hitler here, Matthew. Don't do that. You can tell that the um, very much stepping on that step is going to activate that trap. Hmm. Okay. I just won't step on that step. Hey, you you mark. Just to see what happens. Could you mark what step it is? A step. Alright. What, what was that, Melanie? Melano? <laughs> Maybe just spring it to see what happens. But I'm nah. also gonna use precision to make a splash like of color on the step where the trap is. I marked it. Yeah. So what you are what are you trying to do exactly here, Exodus? All right, I'm gonna walk forward. Hmm? Oh, let me check to see if I have rope first. Ball bearings, hemp and rope, fifty feet. I'll get my rope out. And I'll move about. 
right here. And with my rope, I'll get making a lasso. Oh. Does the, does the coffer appear to be, like, bolted down? Well, it's five foot of pure silver, so not bolted down, but certainly heavy. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll try to take a, a fair bit of slack with the lasso and go to throw it. But I'm throwing enough slack that it looping around it wouldn't pull it at all. Alright, give me a slate hand check. Do it. Is gonna... Nothing but W's? Um, I... <laughs> Wrapped around. But, you know, oh, it did? I... I didn't tell you why you were rolling a slight hand check. I just told you to roll on it. Alright. Over, I'd say you've maybe... Um, I'd say you've got about maybe six inches left and right. And you can tell that it's flat against the wall on the other end. You've got all the slack at the back. Six inches on either end. Average. What's the, uh... What's the play here, Chief? I got six inches on either end. What's that? We might get six inches on either end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What does and that it, mean? Like, on what? We get six inches between the rope and the coffer. So you got the rope, then six inches of nothing, and then the coffin, or coffer, and then, you know, coffer, six inches, rope. Ah, right. I will then slowly feed the slack back. As I walk backwards, or slack forward, as I walk backwards. Widening or tightening the circle? Uh... Neither. Oh, you're just letting loose the rope? I'm still holding on to it, but I'm like just letting it gain more and more slack. Uh, I mean, more yeah. and more rope between me and it. Okay. As I go to get it, and I look to everyone and I say... When I give this signal, could all of you pull this rope with me? Very hard. In one, like, okay. pull. I'll try. Okay. Alright. I'll, uh, get the rope ready. Where they're just right behind where it would give tension. You know what I mean? Like, right, right before it's taunt. Yeah. And I'll see if I could line up that it would at least send the coffer towards us. Hmm? Tightening it if needed, if slightly. At least get a slight, like, grip on it. Mm -hmm. And once that seems good, he'll give the signal for everyone to pull. Just see. yank. Try to send the coffer flying this way. Just start <laughs> pulling it ever so slightly, just to slowly start tightening the circle. You know, you'll eventually feel that, you know, your next tug, you know, it's, your next tug is a taut tug. All around, you've got the rope. you got the rope where you want it to be, where it needs to be. Yeah, you would just pull, give the signal. And you give the signal and you all pull the rope comes straight back to you and hole very shit not you look down mm -hmm. to him and says alright I'm like, rolled an 8 I, I kind of I kind of he's like alright we, we try that again give me a second <laughs> an 8 man <laughs> and, and now he would tie the knot in front of them if possible <laughs> <laughs> you give it your best Wonder Woman impression. Woo! Right there and back. Alright. I feel better about a 16. And you start pulling. Do we need only to roll? What was that? Do we all need to roll? Oh, no, no, he was just tying it. Yep. Play your hand to tie it okay. off. Yep. 
the whoo -doo 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 -doo, and then over and you start kind of pulling until it's taut. You then give the signal once more. And as you pull upon this thing. Just checking. Yeah, no. Very much stuck there. <laughs> uh. Give it all you got, all your strength, all your power. Maybe it's bolted to the ground. Maybe your combined strength isn't good enough. But it's uh, it's a no we're going anywhere. Mm. It's simply bait. Yeah, I'm, that's what I was gonna do next. I, 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 I talked. I asked if the coffer was bolted down. <laughs> I did think it, about this possibility. How are you gonna tell if the coffin's bolted down if you don't open it to see those bolts? Get a silver, mate. Not wood. Oh, I just assumed like by the like how the the bottom of it would be pressing against the bottom of the stone plate. If it was bolted down, that it would have some. Been here a very long time. There are layers of dust upon layers of dust. That's fair. I would uh, I'm gonna try to jump over it. Jump, just jump over the trap. Oh boy. I think we're we're like spending much more time <laughs> trying to get around the trap than just spring it in and try to get out of it. As you <laughs> jump over the trap or try you land on the platform past here close to here as it does you hear the as it does the floor starts to raise up and tilt backwards and becomes sheer and you just you take three bludgeoning damage as you slide all the way back down did i grab a hold of the rope that was attached to the coffer still i take six off just now give me a slight hand check to see all right because also say renard uh, you want to take any falling damage because you're not far enough yeah yeah but you would still slide down You grab it, I'll add six back on. You do grab it. Not negative, six plus six. Yeah, do, do I uh, go back up here? Yep. You know you could have just dismantled the trap, right? You know, you, you could have done that. <laughs> with Thieves' Tools. You could have went, can I, can I use Thieves' Tools? I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate 3 and I keep forgetting <laughs> that. <laughs> this arm trap tools. And these two aren't the same thing and I mean, aren't different things in 5e and you could just use these tools. Man just saw the clip of Matthew Mercer stacking a hundred boxes to jump over a castle and he's like, I'm doing that and everything now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hanging from the rope, I'll try to uh, open the coffer. Actually, no, I like to check the coffer for traps. On you go. What would that be? Uh, investigation or perception. Alright. You know what I should have a plus one to investigation? I'm gonna investigate for the <laughs> oh, fuck. Looks Sorry. safe. I gotta open it. So you open it up and say this strange, weird coffin. Coffin. You see a strange copper figure. Narrow with fins, looking somewhat fish-like. Written on the side of this are some strange runes. On the slimmer end of the coffin is a small 
arched square panel. Mm. On the coffer or on the statue? On the, the coffer. Figurine. On the coffer there's the little thing and on the statue there's the runes. Mm. Yeah, if I read this Wait. if I read this statement verbatim, you're just gonna be even more confused, don't worry. So where's the platform on it? Is it like at the bottom or is it on the side of it? So the small niche that's arched and carved, that's mm -hmm. on the side on the inside, the short side of the coffin. And in your hand you have a fish like figurine made of copper. Alright. Well, that might have more loot there, or that might signal a trap. I'm gonna push it. So, I will say before you do that, you can see All that right. these strange runes are written in Elvish. They oh. say, Ellen Draw. That's literally what it says. So what? Ellen Draw? Indigo, Lima, November, Echo, then Draw, like drawing. You You're talking like I understand the Echo Lima stuff. Just type me down, it's faster. Just sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Do you touch the little boxy part to open it? The sort of suction of air flies into the alcove. I cast fireball. Oh, look who decided to show up. I, um, you know, I came home and I sat down on the bed, but I woke up three hours later laying down. You watch the air sucks in before blowing out, and you watch as the small little fish figurine in your hand starts to. Take flight. Oh, dear God, a flying fish. That's the best well, thing. fish there is. Do what I get the think of next? Do I get the feeling I should run? <sighs> nah, seems almost harmless. Well, uh, grab the copper maybe, as well. Maybe, maybe it's leading, trying to lead us somewhere. Mm hmm. It just kind of floats in the air, doesn't it? Kind of next to Exodus. Eh, I gotta slide down the uh, the rope to see if it follows me. And it follows. Oh my god, I have a familiar? Comes all the way back. Maybe it's a curse. It follows. You guys and your curses. I move a little bit way back just in case it's a fireball, <laughs> like a the delayed fireball. Curse maybe, maybe it's uh, maybe it's friendly, maybe yeah, it's edible, maybe it's imagine. edible. Yeah, Exodus, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you two hundred gold for the fish. Two hundred gold for the for this fish. Thing. Yes, you dude. don't even know what it does, dude. Me neither, I already me feel neither. the difference in power. <laughs> Take it or leave it. He's your choice. How much gold do you have? Uh, a bit more than 200, but that's none of your business. <laughs> if I remember like, correctly, you have at least 700 gold. Excellent, sweetheart. I will give you... I will give you uh, a Chalcedony gemstone and a dancing sword for that fish. <laughs> the bid starts now. <laughs> How about this? I want, I want a fish flying near me. Uh, how about this? After I go to sleep, we'll decide in the morning. <laughs> Alright? You, you can have it after I'm done with it. <laughs> no, I want it now. Yeah, you can be patient. So how did we, we, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. For, your, for you not knowing, 300 gold. For me not knowing, 300 gold. So if that's if that's uh if that's, that's um, more money than you have ever seen in your life, and I know that because I used to be on the road with you. I can't quite tell, but if that's uh, John or Renard, welcome back. How are you? 
Well, I'm doing well. That's good to know. RJ, they're the same person. <laughs> I I know, I know. Still I just didn't know which one to refer to. <laughs> I didn't know which one to refer to, and I was just like, "If that's Bernard, welcome back." I'm like, "Wait a minute, you're Bernard. That's that's John." I'm like, "Oh, well, then which one is he right now?" I'm like, "Who knows?" Four hundred and fifty gold. Oh, this says she just got funnier. <laughs> but I also want the dancing sword. So you have to get the dancing sword off Clifton. <laughs> I was joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> The sword is not for sale. I already tried. Fine. 500 gold for the fish. You got it. Who said 500? That is wild. <laughs> I can already feel the untold powers. I feel like you'll regret your decision later. 450. No. 300. Take it or leave it. 100. You said what? 415. No. 414. I tell you what. 50 now. 50? 250 now. Yeah, 350, take it or leave it. 350, take it or leave it. I'm okay with the fish. I love it. I'm looking at it right now. It's hovering near me. I, I, I can teach it to do tricks. All right. Nice. Look, look, watch this, and I'll, I'll like gesture for it to go in a circle or something, and see if it go in a circle. Um. As you kind of move your hands towards it, it does seem to move in ways almost to avoid your hands. See. It is a hundred percent cursed. Three hundred fifty gold. All I'm no. asking for a small donation. I'm not buying. I'm not buying a cursed item. Forget you. How is this cursed? Oh. I would uh, feel like the fish is a bit. Mm, never mind. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Did all right. You, all right. You all right the fine. day. <laughs> no, the price. The price is gone. I don't want it anymore. I will be back if I can. I need to see how the world changed while I was absent. Oh, mate, you ain't gonna believe it. Japan's at war that? with Australia. I want to see how that fucking happened. Not again. Also, Australia beating the fucking emus again. They're losing this time, aren't they? They lost last time as well. <laughs> Oh, the only country in the world to lose to fucking birds. The crafty ones, those emus. Jesus. So, come down this corridor, Faye, and you see, and you ain't gonna believe it, a door. Dun dun dun. My check gosh. It's like, it's like the, yeah, I'll check for traps before I walk any further. <laughs> ah, no, that's good. Doesn't look very trapped. Looks old, untouched, ancient. It's the massive bronze door opens into a grand chamber. Yeah. I wasn't finished reading. <laughs> mm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm I'm good. So let's go the other way, guys. What's wrong? Hold on, I'll, I'll go take a look. <laughs> He's already fucking gone! <laughs> mm -hmm. This massive bronze door opens into a... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> this massive bronze door opens into a grand chamber. The place is filled with rubble and life-size statuary. Most of it broken, standing in ranks. There's an army of clay statues, in which what in which what in what must have been an impressive array. Now half of them fallen and crumbled. Near the door, a sp are spear wielders, perhaps twenty of them, outfitted in only scraps of leather. Now, at their feet, 
lay obsidian spearheads and bits of rotted wooden shaft. Behind these figures are archers, scattered in formation. A few of them remain standing. Their arrows, gone. But they hold laminated bows. They hold laminated bows. <laughs> of dried and worm-eaten wood. Further into the room are statues of warriors with war clubs and hand axes. Wearing scraps of lacquered leather, sandals and caps. Beyond all of this, in the north end of the chamber, are a group of statues. That must have been an honour guard. Their warriors wear feathered robes and headdresses and they are armed with pitted bone spears. Each of the figures wears a breastplate of shells. They're standing near a domed structure. The stuccoed dome has no apparent opening. On the east wall of the room are two carved stone columns flanked by the remains of a covered sedan or litter with statues of attendants nearby. <gasps> and a text box. Hmm. Can I history check the tall for in a pyramid? Mm, well, yeah, I'll give you that. I mean, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I don't know what the like the studying, like the information spread here is, but I think these are like terracotta warriors. Yeah, that's actually kind of like the image that came to my head as well. I'll be honest. The only thing is, are terrac what were they in a pyramid? Because I'm pretty sure they're underground. Yeah, they were under pyramids. I think. Nope. Saw a pyramid outside, but you know that was a bit off in the distance. Oh, they were under pyramids. Terracotta warriors are China, not Egypt. Pyramids are in all over the world, mate. There's pyramids in Mexico. What? Yeah, I, I knew that part, but they weren't under a pyramid in China. So you. This is you and your visit to China? <laughs> <laughs> there, there are no pyramids in China. You know what? Do you know what? It's time. It's time to get the GM's assistant in on this. Alexa, are there pyramids in China? From GrahamHancock.com, the majority of pyramids are found in Qinghai Province, Western China. Well, that fucking answers that, doesn't it? No! No! <laughs> Good girl, Alexa. Do the statues look like they were unexpectedly turned to stone? It turned stone? Um. No, they look carved. Huh. I think. This is also clearly a trap, but I have enough magical items, so can someone does anybody else? have? Does anybody have the spell Detect Evil and Good? No. I have protections from Evil and Good. Well, remember, I should have it in my like, arsenal, I just have, don't have it prepared. But, I mean, if it's been a new day, somebody's welcome to have gone ahead and pre prepared certain spells if they want it. Uh -oh. No, no, Because I yet. just... Because I just oh, see right. the things in this room pulling alive and just eating us. Like, there's too many I statues in this room for it to not happen. I think what, what I can do. Like real life do. I can pray on it. I can ask for spiritual guidance about that shit, but I, I don't know. I, I mostly just came back to make that joke. Do with, with, do with my character what you will. Oh, I have been. Oh. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. He almost killed yeah. you. He, Ren Renard. You, you, you saw some Malik text earlier, did you not? Could this is this some ritual relating to the Thalamalaic? Uh, no, it doesn't seem. I'm like Malik. Salamala ding dong. To your knowledge passed down through generations, through texts and things you would have studied. Um, P 
people being buried in pyramids as honor guards and such, or statues of such been placed with bodies? Unheard of. Not to say not possible or plausible, but not something the text ever spoke of. So yeah, no. Not Do you really want me, me to send like a firebolt into one of the faces to see if it wakes up? Like, and we yeah, close start... the door and forget about the room. I mean, we can't forget about that. Look at that giant egg at the end of the hall. I Where? To climb at, the, that. at which? At which end of the hall? This one you would point to the northern end. You'd be like, look at the giant egg. I have to climb that. Mm. Yeah, if you, if you can start breaking the statues from a distance. See if they come to life. Okay, I'll try to target this one. Man, the best way to do it is just to do it. Just there's a door over there. We're gonna run over there and um Is that a turtle? Oh my god! Guys, there's a turtle over there. It's open. Cracking crumbles. Just a just a statue. Hmm. Okay. Guys, look, it's a turtle. Look we'll at the turtle. Oh, it's a turtle? You just attacking the statues turtle. now? Yep, I'm just okay. I just want to clear the uh, clear the area just to see if there's any statues you know, that are hostile. I don't think you know how terrifying this room is. And start you, petting the turtle. You start clicking him away. You start tapping at this. This is stone. There's stone. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like it's a stone it's, turtle. You can tell by looking at this. It's a cairn. Hmm. Wonder who's buried here. It's a what? Cairn. What's that? A man-made pile or stack of stones raised for the purpose of a marker or burial mound. Uh, they are... Oh! They're Scottish Gaelic. Mm-hmm. Cairn. Yeah. I just know Cairn from Dragon Age. Anything on the walls that in the might indicate whose burial place this is? Not a thing, no. No placards, texts, or otherwise. Hmm. Could it. I mean, we could find out. You get the idea that after maybe one, two, three, four, five, five fireballs at ra firebolts at random, random statues rather, not creatures, statues. That um, they are just statues. Finish Old. the room. They are. Take them all out. And yet. I will. <laughs> and eight. Hmm. They'll just fireball the whole room. Revel's gonna full sprint Revel? over here <laughs> to the room, to the door. He's gonna full sprint, alright? Revel? Like, oh, right, I'm sorry, I'm playing both characters. Uh, Fane, he's gonna full sprint over here to this door. I don't like this room. This is, like I said, this is one of my real life fears. I don't like being around statues, dolls, I don't like any of this. Oh, you mean a second? I want to reach the top and get the topmost stone. Uh, athletics. The door's locked. Very astute of you. As you climb up this thing, it's solid ish. You know, you can hear that it's hollow. 
at parts. But there are no singular loose stones. Alright. Exodus! You will not lock the door. Well, now if you actually, you know, let me. On this door, you can see a huge wooden beam on the outside, and the brackets very clearly open inward. Pull to open. And a bar, so you can't pull, but the bar is as wide as the door, with two metal bits on the side to lift the bar. Um. So, can you repeat that? <laughs> do you, want, do you there, want to open the door? There's a, yes there's or no? a barred door, but we can open it from this side. Do you want to open the door, yes or no? I do. Do you want to lift the bar to unlock the door to open the door? I do. You lift the bar to unlock the door, and then proceed to pull the door to open the door. Oh my god, and the door's this, open. In this instance, we learnt the virtue of patience. I'm going to, uh, check for traps in this hallway as I walk down. You ain't gonna believe this. Another hallway. Ayo! Anyone else getting flashbacks? Did <laughs> <laughs> you just hear the... Well, yeah, looks fine. You know. Can't see anything wrong with it. Maybe the Clifton. To come down here. Can Fane see farther than Clifton? Yes. Fane sees to here. Clifton sees to here. It's rather odd. Okay. Um, uh, Clifton doesn't have dark vision, so Clifton's holding a torch. <laughs> Clifton's a human, my guy. <laughs> You come like to it, uh... this area here, you see a large block of stone obstructing the corridor head. Doesn't seem to have been part of the original construction. This composition is mostly sandy. And there are stone... It looks different to the stones that make up the walls of these ruins. Furthermore, there is a gap of several inches on each side. Uh... I kind of look inside that thing right there and... The skip? Yeah, that, that thing right there. I'm going to look in there and then, and then, and then, in there. and then, 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 if you say and then one more time, spit it out, Junior. Do you see on the other end, another inch or so here is this i'm gonna look down this hallway making sure there's no traps perception perception not that you can see going to slowly go down it head down you don't hear anything clicking ticking don't feel anything at your feet. Making sure I watch my steps before I give them full pressure. You see the corridor extends some 60 foot to darkness. Or coming to a door. <clears throat> right behind you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, give the story uh, a jiggle. Check it, jiggle, 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 jiggle. jiggle. Do you open this door? Wait, 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 wait. All doors bordering this lozenged shaped room are made from a hefty bronze. Colorful glyphs are scribed on the western wall. There are two sideboards against which, against the walls to the east. In the middle of this chamber are two stone divans. 
each with a human figure stretched out on it. Between the divans and a low stone table holding a flask and two goblets made of crystal. In the bottom of the crystal flask is a quantity of silver dust. The figures on the divans are a male and a female, each middle-aged, perfectly preserved. They're very still. Dust covers their apparently dead bodies. They are covered in dry snake skin. The female wears a silver bracelet and holds what looks like an ivory wand. The male has an amulet of electrum laying on his chest and set with a red stone of considerable size. And image. Okay. Um... Okay. What you said? Was, what did you say was in the middle? In the oh, no. middle is two stone divans, each with a human figure stretched out on it. Between the divans, a low stone table holding a flask and two goblets, all made of crystal. In the bottom of the crystal flask is a quantity of silver dust. Mm. I, uh, step in the room. Uh, okay. That's cool. Are they asleep? Oh, no, you said they were dead. They look very much dead. They are not breathing. Although, also seem perfectly preserved. Either dead for not too long, or magical. Can't quite I tell. Look I look in the uh, the table in the middle with the goblets and whatnot. You said it was a silvery powder. A silvery powder, yes. Okay. That's cool. Um, I uh, take a look in the next room. Just open the door. A corridor of hanging bodies. Mm, cool. <laughs> oh, that is horrifying. <laughs> like bodies, bodies? Bodies, bodies, corpses. Okay, yeah. Crazy. I'll open this door. Corridor. Okay. I, um. I'm going to. I'm getting too far away from the party. I'm going to go back. What's on this side? If I can see over there, you yeah. know. It looks like on that side there, there are essentially... There's a particular word. A ramp with two foot intervals of smooth cylinders that seem to function like rollers. Oh, he goes, um, he whispers through the gap. I mean, or just says through the gap. Guys, push the stone. It rolls. Why are you, why are you leaving? <laughs> Where are you running? Where are you running? <laughs> what are you running? No, there's there's this huge stone and there's rollers on the other side. Just push the stone. I'm gonna have Clifton go up here right. to the stone. I'm not strong and... enough. Alright, hear me out. Hear me out, right? If the giant stone was there to block entry, then why the fuck would they have rollers on it? It's, I'm telling you, there's rollers on the other side! Yeah, but why would you make that mechanism there and have a stone there unless it's a fucking trap? So people can move it. I but don't then know. you can't go. But then you can't go there. You basically lock that corridor up if we push the stone. You want another? You want another? Julian, I will say, and this is probably my fault for not reading it correctly. Um, that is an ascent. 
Oh. So those rollers go up. So that's a higher DC, with... I assume. <laughs> you think for a minute, no. you think for a minute, a ten is moving a ten by ten by twenty stone block. There is a there is an amount here, for which must be rolled, and I'll tell you, a ten ain't even cutting it. I think it's a, probably going to be like a 35, 30. <laughs> you might have to guess. It's a group check. Group check. Oh. Are you fine? A group check up to four this. characters. I really don't feel comfortable about this. I mean, this. we're four characters on this side, so that's... I, I, I ain't even making it up. Yeah, where is it? Uh... I use. I have a secret. I use my charisma to attack. I, I smile at things, and that makes me hit harder. <laughs> I can't. I can't do strength. Oh, uh, we are we so making twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, thirty six, forty six. Yeah, twenty five, twenty six, forty six. Exodus. Are we all making athletics? Athletics or strength? Yes, come All right. All right. All right. You just all push this thing as hard as you can. It does go up. Let's see, he's got up a good 15 foot. And then back down. No, you're holding it there 15 foot. You gotta jump off to the side. I've opened it up. You can now and move over to jump off. I'll let you know right now. It says here. The block can be pushed back the rollers by a combined effort of up to four characters with a total of a strength check 45 or higher. Ooh. What did this? If there's less of you, that DC is fucking higher at 50. So yeah, you just, like, I've opened it, you just can move now. Alright, we're gonna move. Okay. <clears throat> this is all jump out onto the side and you watch as the stone immediately but a boom boom just okay now we're now we're clo now we're blocked in <laughs> great okay uh you guys go up here and i can show you what i found who designs this um, crazy madman <laughs> he's just like looking at this like store and like Fucking cube that we had to all lift. He's like, who the fuck? A guy Bitter. called Halister. He was the follow. This guy is fucked up. Why can't I move? Good question. Try that. Nope. Oh, there I am. Come on in, guys. What These the guys are sleeping. Fuck are those? I'm assuming it's the Ro Romeo and Juliet situation. So, listen to my, listen to my, I'm going to wait till the entire party's in here until I, until Fang gives his hypothesis. His body's in a hallway, he'll be traumatized, don't look. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already traumatized. Okay, okay, okay. Um. One sec, I'll close the door behind him. Right, so, listen, listen, listen. I've been tricked. I'm listening. <laughs> um, Any DNA Sherlock okay. fan? In uh, in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene, these two lovers <laughs> from different families. <laughs> but we're told they could not wed, so they came to this quiet and desolate place to die together. These two goblets sitting here in the middle of the uh in the middle of them. Uh they they mixed the powder with whatever they were drinking, took a sip, and uh here they lie. You think this might not be a mummification room? I don't know man. I I don't think they're making Do mummies. They still have their brains? They 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 look perfect. Um, so 
I don't know. That's the uh, that's the picture from like a fighter thing. Are these guys monks? Can I tell they're monks? Uh, that's just the image that's there that came it's from fucking the generic -y stat blocks from Volo's Guide to Monsters. Mm. It's like, you know, that's the image that's given for Volo's. So, yeah. But saying goes, yeah, that powder most definitely has something to do with their deaths. It's the, uh, the curiosity, what's the, um, uh, ba 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 Mage Hand 4! <laughs> take me a moment. Um, uh, I'm gonna tickle one of their feet. Feet. Don't do that! They're sleeping so peacefully. Mage Hand tickles the foot. You hear this? It's like a good place to call it, doesn't it, guys? I told you guys. <laughs> Never believe anyone's that until you make sure they are. <laughs> I was looking for like, a good, tense place. Thank you. <laughs> it'd be. I'm not sure it would be more intimidating if they if they did that or if they were just like. Fuck me! What time is it? Uh. I went, for a, I went for a five minute nap and I woke up here. I'm late for work. So, uh, so guys, we're good for tomorrow? Mm. Not gonna lie, I am good for tomorrow. I could go tomorrow. <laughs> However, I feel, I feel other people have work and such. And, you know, prior commitments. Tomorrow. What was that? I have work tomorrow. Wow. So, gonna try and keep as many of us playing as quick as much as possible so you know not gonna fuck up the dates again 